<clears throat> What's cracking, y'all? We about to get this. We about to get it. Gotta get this shit cracking. You feel me? This is what we doing. It's cracking, Jay. Will tune in, brother. How you doing? Sassy Carlos, the sub man. Appreciate you guys. Just waiting for one of the. Yes, yeah. I'm talking about baby. See, four people already, man. We got this. Come on. Say no more. <laughs> you feel me? All right, man. So what's up, man? You already know what it is, man. You know, it's your boy Script. You know, we back at it again. You know, inconsistently, but we back at it. You feel me? And it's your boy man, Champ. What's going on, y'all? We got the the man, the myth, the legend, the the human. Me, legend. Oh, that's crazy. The, oh, I made it. The huge. The, <laughs> the human co uh, stand-up comedian, brother. Man, that motherfucker. Man. Some shit like that. You know I mean, man? Well, I'll take it. it. Hey, fuck it. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say, but, you know. We Should be done. Hey, we, I'm sure. We back in this motherfucker. You feel me? You know, we back. We back. We back. We back. You know, a little inconsistent, you know, but, you know, we, we kind of came to an agreement and kind of got the idea of, you know, doing shit like this. Um, It's better. What's up, Alex? Yeah, that because, you know, we don't. Obviously, uh, obviously we 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 have Ant usually. By the way, uh, he might join a little later. Uh, King Corey, what's up, man? Thank you for joining, brother. What's going on, man? Um, but uh, yeah, uh, he's supposed to be over here with us, but he's he he's running out errands. I'm guessing Christmas shopping because you know that's the holiday that's coming up. You feel me? Hell yeah, you better plan early. Yeah, I, I wear a if if Ant, if you watch this shit, bro, I wear a size 13, bro. Just letting you know. <laughs> Hey, this man putting in requests already. Damn right. I can't demand no shit because I wear size 15 shoes, so that shit's a headache. Well, I don't even request no more. I, I wear 13 in Jordans. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, that's even worse. It's yeah, my this, technique. It's my swing. What's going on, Chris? Uh, is that what I think it is? Williams, yep. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> man, how you doing, man? What's going on, man? Yeah, we never really talked, but I know who you are, man. How you doing? But, uh, yeah, man, we're supposed to have Ant today, but he's taking care of business, you know. Do so, you know, do you, do your shit, man. You know, like I said, I wear uh, three X and shirts and four X and hoodies, you know, all that shit, you feel me? No, no, I wear a size 15 in shoes. I, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even request no both. <laughs> yeah, at that point, my, my, my sister told me, my sister's telling me all the time, like, hey, why the fuck do you, like, you know how hard it is to get close for you? I'm like, bro. <laughs> You know, but uh, everybody watching, we got five viewers, man. Uh, uh oh, we already got questions in already. Go, oh, Lord. You know, for uh, for the ones that have been watching us for a lot for since the beginning, we appreciate you guys. By the way, uh, we uh, be talking sports, you know, for the majority of the time. But if you guys drop some fire questions, we will gladly answer them. Uh, talk yep. a little bit on the sexual innuendos. You know, that's uh, it's fun, but man. It's just like I'm trying to keep. We're gonna, we gonna say that for later. Yeah, because I, I mean I have two personalities, bro. Vic, I'm I'm running Victor right now, bro. But when it's script, yeah, that's when you start fucking around a little more. I'm just, I'm trying to be Victor right now. You feel me? But the man, hey, man living up to his name. But we're gonna let that be. Hey, hey, fuck it. You know? Oh, oh, I'm also raw dog poppy. If you don't know, if you know, that's that's. You should have put that in the comments, but I'm gonna let that be. You know, <laughs> you know what? I think people do. what, <laughs> and uh, I know it's been a year, you know, since we give. I've been giving that name, and to, and let's give me a round of applause. You feel me? No babies till then, till, till now. You know, no shit. Sure, that's the case. I'm gonna put that on my bio too. Fuck it, then. That's the case. Fuck it, nigga. I mean, might as well. Shit. I even changed my fuck. Remember my my gamer tag was Ron Jeremy. I changed that shit to Rock Dog Poppy. You feel me? You no. Know. Oh, so you did change? I'll be mean, that's that's a change. So what? Hey, fuck it. Hey, Ernest, what's up, Unc? How you doing, man? Hop in, hop in. Join, join the family. Oh, snap! You already got a question already. Oh, this is yeah. gonna be interesting. You know, I read it already. <laughs> let me get it. Let me. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm still trying to marinate, cause man, these past couple weeks, I don't know if to be happy, cause we're eight and four, or I don't know if to be fucking pissed, cause the fucking organization shit. I don't know. At least you got an offensive coordinator. We don't fucking got an offensive coordinator. That's the problem. We we don't. That's the problem. We don't. But you do, but you don't. <laughs> yeah, we're running a fucking pee wee football offense, dude. Only run two wide receiver sets with a with a with a three hundred pound fullback, bro. And we run screens with them too. On top of that, so I don't know. But I mean, I could be God that we're eight and four. I'm. I am. I, exactly. 
I am mad, though, that we don't have Lamar Jackson for maybe one to three weeks. If not the whole season, it depends on how petty he can be. And honestly, the way he's been acting, he's like, bro, this month, yeah, he, the, the Florida is coming out of him, dude. The, I don't blame him. I don't blame him either, honestly, because he's basically putting this team on his back and we're not giving him the, giving him the love that he deserves, bro, honestly. Honestly, Lamar's in a lose lose situation. If I've it, probably stated this multiple times. If it continues like this, yeah, that's what it's that's what it's looking like. Honestly. If it continues, it's been happening for the past two years. If it can if it continues to keep going. Do you think he come back next season? No. To be honest. You know what? I don't know what's going on behind closed doors, bro. I can only make assumptions. But let me Especially just, with Baltimore. Yeah, <laughs> it's always closed doors. Yeah, let me just say like this. I want him to come back. I would love for him to come back as long as Greg Gorman is gone. If, if he doesn't leave, and if he does leave, then it was a now, yeah, you really got to pay him now. But here's the pros and cons of that. How are you going? Are you really going to keep Marcus Peters? Are you going to keep Calais Campbell? Calais, I, you gonna- I'm not too worried on keeping him. To be honest with you. Facts. That's true. This motherfucker. Okay, true. Alex, you're going too far now. Yeah, this is, <laughs> I don't know what's up. Louis, what's up, man? Thank you for joining. Keep your fucking. Uh, what's going on, Louis? What's keep, going on, man? Keep your attitude low, bro. Uh, don't go. Derek Carr over Lamar Jackson. Yeah, you wildin', bro. That's like saying, bro, I'll take. I've, I've been saying this shit for years, bro. I'll take Deshaun Kaiser over anybody else besides Lamar Jackson and Mahomes and Josh Allen. He says, Carr is a beast, but I'd rather have Jackson. Uh, okay, I was about to say. You know what, man? Boy, you, boy, you was about to get drop kick. <laughs> I've been doing I've been planning a lot of drop kicks lately. It's getting bad. You're doing that shit to the whole organization and the players. That's what you I'm about starting, to do. I'm starting with EDC. All right, man. All right, Lewis. Let me tell you like this, bro. Uh, we're talking actual... Professional sports, bro. Come on now. I'm not, I'm not gonna he- be here speaking on somebody else's name, bro. Come on now. Thanks. Like, come on. If you're not gonna say some, if you're not gonna keep it professional, bro, get off the line, bro. For real. Like real shit. Real talk. Cars, Dookie. Ah, uh, I mean, he's been putting up numbers for fucking. He died. Devonte. I mean, he's is it? No, I wouldn't say he's leading the league in receivers for right, touchdowns, but. Lewis, uh, Look, man, I don't want to talk on that because that's somebody personal that we know, man. Come on now. Uh, I was going to answer that, bro, but come on now. Oh, I'm not going to put nobody business out like that, bro. No. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Cars Dookie. Uh, look, man. He's all right at best. I'll take him over. I wouldn't say he's – I think he's easy. I think he's minimum, minimum, minimum top 20. Well, yeah, I agree. I'll take him. I let me. All right, he's a Cowboy fan, so let me ask you this: Carr or Prescott? Are we really? Well, you know the answer. Then you know damn well. <laughs> you know them Cowboy fans delusional as fuck. They think right. that Prescott over Patrick Mahomes if they had to. <laughs> Bro, I've, had had multiple, fucking I've had multiple Cowboy fans tell me, oh, um, we're going to – I'll take uh, – I'll, t- I'll take Dak Prescott over Lamar. I'm like – You taking Derek Carr over Dak easily? Oh, my boy. You all something. I ain't going to hold you. Carlos. <laughs> like, man, I'll take – I'll take Zach Wilson – Fucking somebody wife, somebody mom. Over Derek Carr, y'all wildin'. <laughs> y'all wildin'. No question asked. Yeah, bro. Hey, man. I'm gonna take. Prince guy has his moments too. I don't know how to feel about that, honestly, bro. I feel like it's one A one B with those two quarterbacks, honestly. Honestly, if you think about it, they both they both put up similar performances. To be honest, exactly. They both have an elite receiver. And some other weapons around them. 
Is the Niners season over with Garoppolo out? No. Trade Prescott and Elliott. Yeah. Ah, I won't go that far. Uh, <laughs> I, I say trade Prescott. Nah, I say uh, get rid of Elliott. It's hard because Ezekiel Elliott's having a good year. He, he, uh, nah. Bro, he has 11 touchdowns. He's get, He is getting the goal line. Thank you. He damn near having almost, was it? I think. Oh my god! I think combined him and Tony Pollard got like twenty touchdowns, and in almost two thousand yards rushing. They're the, they're arguably the best one-two punch in the NFL right now yeah. now this year. How did you bring that statistic up? Yeah, bro. You, you they do they do have what's it called? Keep both of them. <laughs> I say, Honestly, you I, trade I, Dak Prescott I, over to kill it right I'll, now. I'll say this: start, start, uh, Pollard. And keep and, and keep what's his name for the for the goal line. Z? Yeah. I say use him as a one-two punch. Well Pollard can do again can run. He's a hard runner on top first. But it, just like Zeke too. Uh, this is Zeke gets tired easily. That's all. Zeke well, yeah, because all he does is fucking eat crab legs and fucking crab. I mean, when you're making millions of dollars, you would have did the same goddamn thing too. You're right. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Especially as a big back, come on now. <laughs> damn, as a cowboy fan, he said, "Start Pollard, fuck Elliot." Like, damn, like, wait, damn, wait, like, that? wait, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Oh, come on now, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> what do you mean by that? Huh? We, what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Pollard is so shitty. Okay, okay. yeah, okay, shifty, shifty, shifty. I thought it, Okay, uh, Javon, man, Eagles is going to. Oh, look. See, I agree. This is my thing. I agree. Depends on the second round. Let me tell you this. Well, how they do in the second round of playoffs. It really depends. Let me tell you like this, bro. Yes, it's a possibility, but you got to keep in mind that it's also an inexperienced team. Very. Very young and inexperienced team. All it takes is a good defense to punch Jalen Hurts Mert in the mouth. Easy. 49ers, if they run into the 49ers in the second round, I oh, can make an argument oh, 49ers might win. Bro, they exposed the fucking Dolphins. They said, okay, like, you want to allow it up to fucking Tyreek the whole game? Big bet. We got you. Think about it. Think about it. They're the only defense in the NFL that only gave up three total points in the fourth quarter, in the second half. Not fuck the four quarters, second half. Mm -hmm. Let that sink in. If if you're the Eagles, you pray to God you don't run to the 49ers. Run into everybody else. <sighs> Javon is... Oh. Uh, I'm telling you, Javon, it's, it's better to take this reality now. <laughs> let me tell that you, the first to tell you, take the reality now. Because now, Ravens, I'm telling you. When my Ravens went 14 and 2, when we fucking steamrolled everybody in the in, in the regular season, we got to the playoffs. We got we went against, up against Derrick Henry. We couldn't fucking stop, so we had to abandon the run and start passing. And on top of that, all of a sudden the fucking defense wanted to play good. On top of that. The next year. Yeah. So trust me. <laughs> keep it keep in mind right now that everybody that right now. Teams don't have that much. The, 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 you're not playing that many of the good teams. And just keep and just be honest. The Eagles have the best. Facts. The Eagles have the easiest schedule going on right now. Who to play this week? In the NFL. Yeah. Except for Dallas, they ain't really got nothing else. Sammy, what's up, bro? Thank you for joining, brother. What's going on, Sammy? Sammy Gentile. I don't know if you remember him. Yeah, I remember. Oh, oh sure. do I remember? So, hey, <laughs> Daniel Catrice, what's Danielle. up with it? Yep, yep, get this going. Get Find us on T in the building. Hey, I pre hey, six people, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Come on, appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're back. But, uh, yeah, dude, uh, it's good. Uh, honestly, that's this is why, like, I trust the Ravens better off in the playoffs going as, like, a wild card, to be honest. Yeah, the ba Bengals winning that easy. So, yep. yeah, I don't and, see what's it. Up, Anthony Curio. What's going on, man? Uh, uh, Javon, I'm not... Vidal, you an auntie, baby. It's okay. Stop calling me an auntie. Uh... No, you're a, you're a fine one. Hey, what you, you mean? Real pretty. You're like, real stuff. 
All right, let's get back to it, bro. Come on now. Now that nigga gonna head to your DMs in like thirty minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh we're not. Uh, we're, 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 I'll touch that up right now. Uh, Alex. Uh, somebody asked a question. He said, "Uh, but we'll get to What's it. Up? We'll get to it right now, though." Uh, oh, yeah, I see what he said. I see what he said. Well, I'm actually rooting for you guys that you guys are getting a lot of wins, so that way I can watch the playoffs. So happy, you know, right there. Just who has to get eliminated in the first round, or you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's a beautiful sight. Oh yeah, beautiful sight. You know, I kind of did. I kind I didn't really get to uh, enjoy my Thanksgiving because you know they won. So yeah, but Christmas though—that's another question. I mean, I don't know if they play. I don't. I, I'm not so sure. But they uh, Dallas play Eagles. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, now you got Dak back. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good game. I'm, like I said, it's gonna be a typical divisional game. I hate both 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 teams because well, the fan both fan okay, the Cowboys fan base sticks to the past and, it, not, and does not know when to, you know, let go. Man, and that like, like literally, I gotta ask my grandpa like, hey, how where, where what 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 were the Cowboys in your years? You know? Oh and lord, they started. They're doing good now, and which is good, but. The, I've never seen any Eagles fans, bro, before that. He said, we'll have OBJ. Like, bro, no, y'all not, bro. Like, no, you're not. Bro, OBJ, OBJ going to be a free agent for, like, the rest of the year. <laughs> like, honestly, like, bro, if he, if anybody really wanted him, dude, and no, if nobody really thought wrong of him. Like, they would have been picked him up before Thanksgiving. They would have been, been got him. him. I mean, niggas is trolling at this point. Like, <laughs> Honestly, realistically, y'all have the best wide receiver duel. Uh, I mean, core. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you guys have a the cowboy hell dog. Top ten for sure, though. You really think? Well, hold on. Let me try to break this down. M, you, Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup ain't had five touchdowns since never. Uh, trying to pick up a little. Good boy. <laughs> On 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 principle of uh on principle of you know reliability. Be right. bro. Look, you can say the same thing about the Eagles, about the Cowboys. Who have they really faced, really, except for they, Minnesota? Well, I think they have a better. I think they have a better receiving core than them. Who has a better receiving core? Okay. Who has the better receiving core? Probably the Eagles. To be honest with you, Eagles for sure. It's yeah. not a debate. That's not even a debate. Come on, when you have, when, bro, come on. Niners. You seen the last game against the Titans and the Eagles? That motherfucker take that shit personal. <coughs> he came in. Well, who are forty Niners? Oh, and by the way, for the ones tuning in right now, dude, uh, I'm actually at work, so if y'all that motherfucker go, yeah, you feel me? So I'm out here at work, you know. He's trying to get nippy. Yeah. So, yo, uh, shout out to my mama. She made me some menudo. So, you know. Oh, shout out to the menudo. Oh, yeah. Mama, mama. You know, I might take, but, there's any left tomorrow, but I'll take you a plate. I uh, say no more. Yeah, you, know, you know, mama said, hey. Yeah, let's go over these receiver duos. Cause, yeah. Okay. So, I said Ravens, Eagles. Ravens, have, Ravens are, thir- are 35th. That's not even a debate. <laughs> We're going. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they said Ravens ain't got nobody. <laughs> Man, we got Mark Andrews and Mark Andrews. That's it. <laughs> and he can't even do shit right now. <laughs> Boy, I'm damn about to cut that man in fantasy after tomorrow. <laughs> that man go. I'm in the playoffs now. <laughs> so it's like, that man got to go. <laughs> I'll take, I'll, it's, it's like having uh, Kyle Pitts in your fucking fantasy lineup. This, this point. Nigga. <laughs> He gonna get all the yards, but no touchdowns. I want to know who the fuck my fantasy league uh, took uh, Kelsey, which last week he got kind of shut down a little bit. Not really, no. Yeah, yeah kind of. Let's put that in definition terms. Yeah, he's- three receptions and a touchdown. That's a crap night for a tight end. <laughs> Let that sink in. <laughs> Even- That's a low light for Travis Kelsey. Even though he lost. Yeah, let's go over best receiver duo. So you said Eagles, Niners, with Ayuk and Debo, mm-hmm. Seattle, DK Metcalf, and Tyler Lockett. Yes. 
Let's oh, go. Oh, no, actually, give me who? Who is it again? You said so, Niners, Eagles, Seahawks for now. So I got three. Switch number. Two. Is that in order? No, 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 no. I'm just randomly naming them. Nah, I'm putting the Dolphins on number one. Yeah, how the fuck did I forget the Dolphins? What am I doing? Dolphins like, one, like, Eagles number two. Yeah. And, uh. Oh, Niners at three. Nah, B. Nah. You're putting at three and four. Vikings. Oh, yeah, that is true. And, With and, Justin Jefferson uh, and Thielen. Jay Jettas and Thielen, bro. Thielen, let's not forget Thielen's still getting points. Damn, you right. You right. White boy Thielen, bro. That motherfucker nasty. And then you if got... If that's the case... Oh, I can't say Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Because they hit or miss. I They're hit or miss. Bro, right Especially now, this year. I don't know what the hell's going right on. Right now, that boy... That boy... Uh, that boy Brady going through it right now, dude. Man, he's been going through it since he unretired. What's up, Jay? How you doing, bro? Thanks for joining. What's going on, man? Yeah, dude. I don't know. That offense ain't been the same. But in that order, so, yeah. I, I will put that in that order. Dolphins? Dolphins. Eagles. Eagles. Oh, hey, what's up with it, man? What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, man? I hope we get home soon, man. Hey, by the way, uh, I know I said this shit earlier, but uh, uh, if you're Christmas shopping, I wear a size 12 in Vans and uh size 13 in, uh, in, uh, in, in Jordan. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, I wear a, I wear a three X in, in shirts, big and tall, please. And I wear a size four X in a uh, gin hoodies. I like big hoodies. You feel me? This man here. Hey. <laughs> oh, and I I, 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 I like uh, I like Gucci and uh, Louis Vuitton and shit like that. <laughs> How right. you feel about the Rams and Baker Mayfield? I mean, their hey, their season's wait, wait, going wait. nowhere. I mean, they are they out of playoff contention, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're out of there. So that you might as well Baker might as well go to Southern California and do something. He's in the dome this time, so yeah, I guess. I mean, he didn't do shit and he had a good he had a good wide receiver core with the Browns. <laughs> Carolina dog. No, 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 I'm talking about with the Browns. Oh, yeah, I was about to say Carolina, that man got thrown into the wolves. <laughs> that man down there trying to make shit happen. He said, fuck that. Hey, what else is there? AJ hey, Brown is nice, of hey, course. Brown is probably the That's what I said. That's why I put the Eagles at number. We put the Eagles at number two. Yeah. AJ a. Brown and uh, Devontae at uh, not Adams, Devontae Smith. But it's just Tyreek Hill and fucking uh, what's what's his name can go off. Jalen Waddle. It's it's not a debate. They can burn you, regard no matter what when. It's uh, bro, you ain't gotta explain yourself. It's just them. Nick, fuck it, Tyreek Hill out there somewhere. That's literally their offense. Uh, Carlos said, do y'all think you can still be a starting quarterback? Fuck no. Two. Uh, Baker Mayfield. Fuck no. Why is that even a like, question? That, we, we, we've seen this shit in the, in the AFC North, bro. Even when he had a decent season, he was doing he was bad. Bro, without the running game, he was trash. Latrice, hey, how you doing? I don't know you, but how you doing? Thank you for hey. Wait, hold on. Let me remember the name. Titanisha? Ty hopefully, Ty hopefully I said it right. Hopefully I said it right. I swear to God. I hope I said it right. And uh, y'all see the TikTok video of that 6 foot 8, 360 pound, 15-year-old football player? Yeah, I did. Damn, Orlando Brown. They're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. But at 15, though, like, yo. this. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Honestly, if he's going to continue to grow, he's not going to do good in the league, bro. No. The but, taller you are, the, the harder it's going to be. Yeah, because you're so late. Maybe NBA. You can try the NBA. At 360 pounds? I mean, Hell no. Lose some weight. Good luck with that. Look at Orlando Brown. Look how long it took him. And file Lele, but that's a story for another day. Yeah, file Lele. Oh, God. Yeah, who? That's been doing pretty With Ronnie Stanley. Oh, he's on his own with his weight. But if he loses weight, he's going to be a monster. I already know. Oh, yeah. Give him a couple years. I honestly like. Yeah, it's gonna take him a year or two. It's it says the Broncos need help. Help, John. Whoa, help. Nick. Ooh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think. 
Honestly, I think it's that offensive line, bro. Honestly. Nigga, it's the whole offense as a collective unit. <laughs> that's not, yeah. But offensive line is the biggest need. That's not a question. Interior wise. Look, look at fucking the Giants. The Giants the Giants restructured their O line. We beefed it up and look what happened. It took him years though. I was just about to say, how long did it take him to do that? A long time. Because you don't have long ass time. Yeah. You can't really be, I mean, yeah, you can get rookies and shit like that, but that's only going to help you so much because you're going up against grown ass men in the NFL. That is Carlos. That is true. Makai Beckton is like six seven three thirty, but didn't he lose weight a little bit though? Yeah, he should. I think he did lose weight, bro. <laughs> he lost weight a little bit though. What yeah. he had no choice, really, bro. Okay, I don't know if a lot of you know uh, that are watching this this live, but uh, a lot of players uh, are put like they are overweight. They'll take a risk on you, but they're gonna put, they're gonna they're gonna be on your ass about it. Like, hey, mm-hmm. a lot more than the other the person. Yeah, come overweight. The more you come overweight, the more we're gonna find you. And that's yeah. just, that's just, that's just gonna look at Zion Williamson. I feel like that's how it should be, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Because if not, you gonna just allow a fucking fat fuck to get paid millions of dollars, and he's not gonna play. Uh, uh, exactly. I agree. Uh, before he started playing, you know. Ronnie Stanley. Is it Ronnie Stanley? I mean, uh, he came back. I ain't gonna. Lie. He came back and made it. And- oh yeah, when he came back, he looked honestly. He looked heftier when he came back. Honestly, and but then, then again, he hasn't given up a sack. That's the sad part. But think about it, he don't play that much because the injuries. No, he started. He he was starting full time again. Uh, interesting. So that's what I'm saying. Like he wasn't. He wasn't giving up any. He was. He was like the lowest graded. Uh, Tackle and uh, and and hurry and, and and hurries and fucking no no sacks. Pressures and hurries. I'm like, okay, yeah, well, he's back. Like this is why we're paying him. But the only thing is that every time that somebody falls on that ankle, he risk. He, it's more delicate now. Yeah. Like he said, like if another injury like that happens to the same foot, he's done. This right. Like you especially can- how big he is too. He's six six three fifteen three twenty. One more of those, it's a wrap. Yeah, dude. Especially when you're that that big, dude. You need the support, dude. Look at Eugene Monroe when he was with the Ravens, bro. Fucking tore the same knee both times. Still kept trying to play. Dude, you're done. Just leave. Like you're yeah. done, dude. Like let new blood come in. You're fine. Like you're. That's why when fucking Andrew Luck retired, dude, I really didn't. I, I really didn't get, get on his ass about it because it's like, bro. You had- look at how many hits that man was taking. He was doing good, yes, but it's like, bro, it's only a matter of time before you get you get hit again. Like you're, like I don't, yeah. care, I don't care how good your O line is, but you're still bound to get hit. Yeah. So it's about to happen. Andrew, honestly, Andrew Luck did the right thing. I don't blame. It's him. like, bro, bro, he was he did this before he turned thirty. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I don't blame him for it. I'm like, hey, I'm I'm actually rooting for you. But we know the reason why, though. It's just like, nah. yeah. Hey, what's cracking, Ashley? How you doing? But, you know, but hey, man, nice little sports talk. Uh, let's keep the questions coming, though. Uh, we're going to keep talking about sports, but uh, keep the questions coming. Like I said, we, we will continue uh, gladly answering them uh, as long as they're appropriate. Even some inappropriate ones. I mean, probably I'll, I'll probably roast you through the fucking camera or some shit. I don't know. But keep dropping them. Russell Wilson needs help. No, that offensive line needs help. <laughs> to be honest, bro. Honestly, I feel like it's not. It's half Russell, half offensive line. To be honest with you, because all his come on. You mean to tell me with with Seattle, you did you didn't have an O line ever, and all of a sudden you go to the Broncos. You don't where you where's the same situation, and you're not gonna use them correct. And, and you and you and you're gonna play something. You're gonna play ass. Come on now. In that in that perspective, though, if you think about it, it's probably the offer the offensive scheme, or the head coach. Yeah, fire Harbaugh. Gonna... They're already calling for his job already. That's not. So I should tell you everything you need to know. Yeah, honestly, but honestly, if if Russell wasn't to retire right now, that's he's a Hall of Famer, so it doesn't really matter. Exactly. Yeah. But if he still since he still wants to continue to keep playing, you know, we got to give him the, we got to keep the same energy with him. Yep. So, Easy as that. So honestly, I think it's just the offensive court, the offensive, the offensive scheme and um, coordinator and head coach or everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, Carlos, you make a point. Yeah, cause Carlos, I'm, you make a point. I, I say it like this: I don't think Greg Roman firing Greg Roman with the Ravens is going to do much because we still have that philosophy around. 
Nate Raven was talking about this shit. Like, yeah, we st- like, yeah, we're gonna get rid of the guy that's calling the offensive plays, but guess what? We still have the fucking we still have the philosophy that r- it's run first. So yeah. Raiders versus Broncos. I don't think they played last week, bro. Uh I think I think I think you mean Ravens, bro. That game had me fucking munching my nails the whole time, dude. Yeah, because you're paying the quarterback. Well, I'm answering Carlos' question. You're basically paying the quarterback damn near $45 million a year. Figure it out. Yeah, I I think if I were to name the robberies right now of the year, I think Russell Wilson's contract is right there. Bro, he stole the money. Yeah. That brother out here stealing money. That man was out here making commercials. Broncos country. Let's ride. Oh. He's legally doing fraud. What's up? Legally. Yeah, dude. The, exactly, Carlos. Exactly. There is no reason why he should be playing like this. To be honest, I don't care what the situation is. Dude. You need to at least be fucking scoring points. And you've been in the league for eleven or twelve years, bro. There's no excuse. You have two. So you have two Super Bowls under your belt. You won one, and you went to one of them. You went head to toe, head to, head to toe with fucking uh, toe to toe with fucking Tom Brady. You have the the experience under your belt. Figure it out, Carlos. I agree. At some point, you gonna have to call some audibles, bro, and change up the um plays. Exactly. That's that. That's what I. That's what I keep telling everyone. That's what I keep saying too. Like Lamar, you have the the power to. You have the trust in the offense. Like, bro, call this shit out. Yep. Move shit around. I don't give a like. Tell Gregory, hey, fuck your playbook. I'm running my shit. Didn't I say this shit a year ago? Yeah, exactly. Just saying. At some bro, at some point, bro, Lamar gonna have to get held accountable at some point. Oh yeah, that's what, bro. You're a unanimous MVP, and I, and I'm a fan. Exactly. I love him. I love Lamar to death, bro. Shit, but you gotta come to a point like, bro. I have done so much for this fucking organization. I have at least the respect and enough respect in this team to call these fucking plays. I don't give a fuck if you don't. If you go ahead and get mad, I right, fuck you. Your shit's not fucking working. Let me run. This. Let me put it this way. Carlos basically said what I was just about to say. If if Lamar was in Denver right now, they're ten and two. Uh, Javon, I think Javon keeps requesting to join, bro. I can't have. I, uh, not right now. No, 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 bro. Not having, not having nobody in right now, man. Later, or maybe some other time though, for sure. But right now, it's got to get these episodes in, man. But what what, what were you saying? Uh, I feel like if you put Lamar Jackson in Denver right now, they're ten and two. Oh yeah, because he we see what he can do without. All- Bro, they showed a stat on was it catch the blitz or some shit like that. Some shit like that. If they were to score eighteen points a game every single game, uh, they're ten and two. We got Kevin Samuels in the building. Oh, Kevin Samuels Jr. Uh, the second. He, he requested. What's up, man? He requested to join. My boy. Oh, go ahead, bro. Invite him. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Nah. Two Steelers fans versus the Ravens fan. Oh, this is gonna be nah, interesting. Not, hey, 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 hold on. This is not. This is oh, gonna be interesting. It, it Steelers and Ravens are this week too. This is gonna be interesting. Hey, Kevin What's Samuels. Going on, man? What's, going on? What's going on, man? What's cracking? What's going on, Bill? Hey, you know, know here, man. How you been? I'm been doing good, man. How you feeling, man? Man, I'm at work chilling. Ah, got it. This man, how you doing? Man, when we all you doing great. No, I'm I'm actually on the clock right now, bro. When we uh when we going paintballing? <laughs> this man, you <laughs> <Damn. laughs> And that question is for you, script, not me. Hey, we going paintballing. <laughs> hey, what kind of paintball nah, are you good, talking bro. I do street paintballing. I do like where other. I'm not gonna mention it here, you feel me? But I swear to God, you know, triage. What two, one? <laughs> oh man, right. that's. I thought it was damn, bro. Hey, Bell, stay on, bro. Just don't say nothing. Just stay on. We got the viewers going up. (laughs) This man, Bell, got the viewers going up. You said what? It's because we're doing a uh, podcast episode, bro. You brought in all the heat. Oh, 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 oh. We got heat. Man. Oh, what was the comment? Shannon. Shannon, the Marine up in this thing. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. Join in, join in. We're talking sports, but we're more than willing to answer questions. Oh, yeah. Sports, bro. Y- y'all talking about college or NFL? NFL. 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 
Man, listen, college, about, listen. As long as Alabama about, out, I'm good. Hey, how y'all feel about uh, Tyreek Hill going to Miami, though? Nigga. <laughs> I mean, when you're in the state of Florida, you should be doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the whole yeah. state of I mean, he from – It's going hard, bro. He from Florida. He shouldn't have went to uh, – Kansas City to begin with, but he got his ring, so he good. I think that's what he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once he got his ring, yeah, it was a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. After his ring, I agree. That's all you needed. What else can you ask for? Yeah, he went to what four straight in the AFC championships. On top of that, yeah, you don't have to no, do he, much anymore. He anybody. probably had the best rookie like season that oh, anybody yeah. can ask. Or man, say rookie stretch. Yeah, yeah, stretch. Yeah. Uh, Carlos said with Jerry oh, Judy taking. Famous yeah. and have a solid online. Come on, bro. It's literally on Wilson. Yep. Ah, going back to that. Um, I feel I feel like 60 40 with that one because the offensive line does need work still. But Russell Wilson, you cannot have a drop off like that after nah. they paid you 200 plus million. Especially when you know that you had like a, I think even a worse online in Seattle and you're playing this bad. It's it's a problem. It's a bad yeah. look. Yeah. No, yeah, it is. It's, a bad it's look. not. It's not yeah, but uh, and you already lost the ha majority of the locker room on top of that. Yeah, like I said, when they said if if the Broncos were to score eighteen points per game every single game, they'll be ten to two. Mm -hmm. That just shows the defense is that damn good. Hey, Despite I'm, it all, I'm join back later. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, look, take your time. Take your time. Take your time, man. We we got you, uh, Kelvin Cash. Thank you for joining. I think you're uh, part of Bell, so appreciate you coming. But uh, Basically. yeah, dude. Now, oh, by the way, everybody who watches, uh, you, as as you guys know, during off the season, we don't we don't do uh, regular episodes. So we are actually trying to get a little uh, males versus females uh, debate episode, <laughs> like kind of like fresh and fit. You guys know what that's in, you know. So if you're an intellectual woman, which most majority of them are, uh, and are willing to, you know, take. Uh, sensitive takes and without getting sensitive. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Like, let, hit us, hit us up or whatever, and we will, and we will get get, get into this. You feel me? Got it. Uh, Roblox, hey, what's up, little bro? How you doing, man? So on, man. That's my little brother. He's from the gym. Oh, okay, that's uh, dope. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Talking to me too about getting a little boxing podcast going too. So we we could definitely figure that shit out man you know not knowing we got instagram live and shit too we can get that shit going too you feel me got you so hey hey if you i'm sure you know a little bit of boxing you know champ right a little bit of it i don't know like the full full like yeah I'm, background of it but i mean you 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 stay on mayweather's nuts too much but you know, i'm gonna just let that one slide real quick not too no nah, bro first off <laughs> first off <laughs> that's what y'all gonna do you know what? Nah, I ain't gonna say. It, but nah, yeah, dude, it's it's crazy how the how how the how the Broncos do have like a top defense, but a fucking horrible offense. That just goes to show that defense can't really do shit. Defense don't win championships, bro. Not in that situation. No, no, man. When you giving up less than eighteen points a game, your offense ass. <laughs> There's no nice way of saying it. Your defense can only do so much. <laughs> It's gonna come to a point in time where you fucking you're like, fool, I'm tired. Like, fuck this offense. You feel me? Bro, did they show like a clip of one of the defensive tackles yelling at Russ at one point? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that should tell you everything you need to know. That reminds me. I, I remember I was mad as hell uh back in high school when I used to play ball. I played a, it was uh the game against Ramona High School back at the time. And I remember our quarterback that day, bro, we were winning the fucking game by like fucking 24 points. And we lost by a point. All because second half, bro, he threw like five picks. All right, defense back in. Next thing you know, I'm over here trying to catch my breath, drink some, drink some water, boom, another fucking pick. I'm like, yo, fucking first time, I'm like, okay, cool, bro. I'm like, cool, bro. That's fine. No, that motherfucker would have got shot in the knee after you. the third one. Like, fool, we got you. We got you. Fucking get the stop again. Another one. I'm like, yo, bro. Like, I am fucking tired. <laughs> that nigga Jay Will say he's tricking the gray goose. <laughs> niggas was playing. 
Yo, all right, yo, yeah, dead ass. No, yo, dead ass. No, that day we was drinking great. Gay- well, they were drinking. Gay- <laughs> that shit was comedy. Yo, that's wild. <laughs> Yeah, bro. But nah. And after that, I'm like, okay, we got this shit. Let's fucking go, bro. Third fucking thing. Like, oh, my fucking God. Oh, dude. third thing, nigga. We fighting. Um, we like, fighting. Bro, I'm breathing hard as shit. Like, yo, why? Why? Like, why is this? Just take the stack. <laughs> like, don't fucking. <laughs> better off, up, dude. I'm like, yo, dude. Like, you're trying to make this miracle work, man. But this shit ain't working. God ain't with us. Yeah, like, God. Not- with five to six turnovers, at some point the other team gonna score touchdowns too. Oh, and I thought it was over then because fucking we got we stopped in the third time. Next thing you know, another fucking pick. I'm like, yo, again. Why? No, I shot that nigga. I, I shot like, him. I was, like, <laughs> I was just in the sideline, like, bro. Man, Rick cares. What's up with it, man? Don't know, man. You know, could have had. We wish could have had you today, man. But you know, we you know we here. But, you on your studies, my boy? Here is her. I respect that. Yeah, you know, appreciate the love, man. Uh, well, I think at some point we've been up to like eight viewers, man. So we appreciate you guys a lot, man. Appreciate yeah, you, man. for real, for real. I like that. I like that. Yeah, definitely. But nah, man. Yeah, that's wild. Nah, that fucking game had me heated, bro. Cause fuck, we lost by like a point, I think. Like five interceptions, nigga. I'm shooting that nigga in the kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> no, ain't no way, bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh, somebody finna get these fucking kids. Uh, man. Oh, by the way, uh, everybody on the comments, wish my boy happy birth- late birthday. It was birthday on the 4th. Uh, yes, we are getting Liddy on Saturday. I am going live. Uh, so- See, I'm drinking light. Fuck you, me. Uh, <laughs> I forget it, Custer. Man, I'm drinking hella light. That this guy. Fuck that. <laughs> we got a plan, though. We, we talk, um, that, that fool, man, Rick is one of security at the door. I'm like, for sure, anybody that don't, anybody that don't got six holes with them got to leave, got to go. Damn. Yeah, we had six. I wait. Was it them? No, we had like we had a lot of fucking offense, and they fucking we still fucking lost. It was horrible, dude. That's wild. Y'all, y'all had six hundred yards and still threw five picks. How? Our top- Statistics, how? <laughs> Thank you, bro. My cardiovascular, my 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 my, my cardio, my fucking ah, uh, my my. Uh, how was fucking? Oh, I'd have shot that nigga. <laughs> bro, <laughs> Ain't no way. Like four of those fucking picks, bro. Three of those fucking drives, I didn't get to sit down once. You better find a replacement, bro. <laughs> like, the one time you wish they had oxygen in the sidelines, multiple of them. <laughs> bro, I'm like, and we. The thing is, like, our our starting uh, D tackle was out that game. That's why. I, oh that, yeah, you had no choice. That's why I went in. So I had no, I had no fucking backup. Yeah, yeah, no backup. Yeah, yeah, no choice. It's a damn. And I was, I, that was for, I should, if it was anybody who should have fought that motherfucker, it was me. I should have fought that motherfucker. Yeah, that day. <laughs> me and that quarterback catching hands after that. We ain't going back to the locker room. We going to fight right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Five picks in the second half? Nah, I shot that nigga. <laughs> Where's the gun? <laughs> That shit was horrible. Well, I don't, I don't rolled up to one of the campos like nigga. Have me the gun, <laughs> nigga. Somebody finna get this shit. Somebody, that quarterback gonna get the work. Nobody else. Him, him, <laughs> nigga. He's him. It's out of that where the offensive line didn't block at all. Nah, bro. The thing is, like, he our offensive line that year was fucking good. Like, he never got rushed like that. It's just he likes to roll. It was just so happy that game. It was a great Ramona game. was Ramona was smoking that Vista pack. It was, <laughs> it was <that> nigga. <laughs> Green eye. Hey, what's up, girlie? How you doing? Hey. We talk in sports, but you know, if you want to hear our opinion on something, we will answer it. With- or give us a controversial topic, oh, somewhat. Shit, man. You know, I'm here for it. <laughs> Don't get disrespectful now, Kevin Samuels. <laughs> You know me, goddammit. <laughs> I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. We get in this uh, podcast episode going, like I said. Yeah. Bring us in the topic. Say what you, whatever you want to tell, talk about. We, and we will answer to the best of our abilities. <laughs> yeah. Best. I don't know about champ. He worked. Asshole regardless. 
Hell yeah, he at work. And I at work, yeah. See, this is why I love my platform, you feel me? Because we still, we like, we find ways to do this, even though we've been inconsistent. But now, Tuesday. Yeah, we talked about Baker and the Rams. Yeah, we talked about them. Yeah, we talked about them. So we'll, we'll touch them up just for you. Uh, Baker and the Rams, they don't want to win. Rams don't want to win. They they, well, they weren't going to win anyway. So they, <laughs> let's, let's end that debate. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Why do you think they shut down Matthew Stafford early? Because <laughs> there's no point. Honestly, I think so. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, let's bring back here to Southern California so we can lose more games. Yeah, why not? Honestly, at this point, we might as well. They, uh, Matthew Stafford might as well just retire, dude, at this point. Yeah, with another three more goddamn years on his contract? Boy, you better play them three years out. <laughs> You better be. Hey, we done paid your ass four years, one hundred and sixty million. Shit, boy, you better go out there and be somebody. Shit, that motherfucker, he got, he got paid. That's another. He, he retired. Exactly. Well, you better get that surgery and make it happen. Uh, thank you, Green Eyes. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I reply to your. What about Lamar? With, what about Lamar with the Ravens? They don't have a bad record. And what if Hundley balls out in the next couple games? Then we just saw. We just talked about this. Sure, didn't we just talk about this? We just talked about this. That, Before we came on. That's why I'm kind of hoping uh, Honey doesn't ball out like that. For that reason. Nah, because he, if he wins out, boy, <laughs> Lamar out of there. It's not a debate. Ravens ain't got to pay no $200 million. Nah. We keep Huntley. Does that mean they're going to make a business that business decision to let Lamar go? That's Jeez, a, might as well. That's a logical one, but get, but then again, when have the Ravens ever been logical? Never. Exactly. It's actually never. Yeah. Oh. Let me put the, let, me, let me put this in perspective. They paid two cornerbacks twenty million a year. Let that sink in. No, no, hi, my boy. <laughs> The user, the user you are trying to contact is unavailable right now. Please con. Exactly, I saw that video too. Um, very good. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna pay him like that. No. Oh, so you, Mar, you was in a losing situation going in. He, they should have. He should have. They should have just paid. Did they? For, no, they gave him the fifty-year option. Or some shit like that. He's playing on the fifth year option, technically. Yeah, it's just that the, with the quarterback market, he, he's doing he's he's doing pretty good. Oh, America's trying to join. Let's join up, baby. Let's get it. Oh, join up, my nigga. Put the menudo there. Oh, let me start. <laughs> hey, hey. What's crack? What man? That was good. That was good. Hey, hey, for the for the ones that don't know, there's another member of the podcast. Uh, he just had to do. Yeah, man. Look at him making him making time for us to you know make some content. Well, I'll give a sec. I'm gonna take a scoop of menudo for that. Yeah, I'm literally like doing my work on the side, so <laughs> there you go. See? Consistency, that's what I'm talking about. Trying to make time for it. Now I had to slap my meat. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you say how I feel, script. Shut up. Hey, John. John's for sure about to be out there, Henny. Oh, a lot of questions. Listen, that's like probably the top three drink that's going to be there. I already know it. Oh, that, too. that and what else? <laughs> Goose, yeah, Great Goose for sure going to be there. I already know. Some bold ass person going to bring an 1800. I know it. <laughs> wow, I know it. Bullshit. They're going to bring some bullshit with the 1800. Some Bill Cotton. <laughs> that shit tasted like 87 and let it the last time I dried it. <laughs> Somebody going to bring roofies. <sighs> <laughs> That's going to be Jose. Jose's going to be bringing in the roofies. No, I'm about to say. Yep. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, Faulkner. Don't let the drink go. Don't oh, yeah, you security. <laughs> oh, damn. No, I'm hop Fuck that. I'm hopping the gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This nigga fucked him for a pull up. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Whiskey. Mm -hmm. I'm, about to pull up. I'm about to pull up to the front of the house. Now I'm going to walk around. <laughs> Now I'm going to hop the gate. That's all I'm about to do. This guy's going to hop, hop a gate. Be realistic now. No, that's... Yes, I actually can. Believe it or not. So this nigga... This, this nigga... Uh, uh, Fartner's, uh logic is like the Ravens right now. He's horrible. What you mean? 
Any rebel? How did get shit? I'm still out there, motherfucker. And what do they call that? They call it like that that uh, the Hulk drink or whatever it is that Henny and Red Bull. Oh, incredible! Hulk. Hell no, that sounds like a heart attack. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. Like, that sounds like a, demon time. They were who you trying to? They were who you trying to fuck on, bro? This is. On the roofies. They were trying to fuck on somebody. Red Red Bull, Red Bull. You try to fuck a grandma. <laughs> That's what you do. Trying to fuck on somebody. That boy need energy. What? <laughs> He's gonna be drunk with energy, my boy. How's oh, yeah, that yeah, possible? Yeah, yeah, the hypnotic and uh, and Henny. That's what it is. Yeah, Henny. Yeah, yeah. That's even worse. Bro, <laughs> hip, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Hypnotic's pretty good, dog. It, <laughs> yo, it is nice though. But it's like that shit tastes good. Trust me, they don't drink it that often for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. Shit, but back to the sports topics, man. Um, let's talk AFC and NFC standings right now. I'm not standings for you know mm. predictions. Yeah. <clears throat> well, oh, that's gonna be the Bills. The Bills aren't where they we thought they were gonna be. No, they they, they slow down. <laughs> so you are gonna start AFC? Uh, I got yeah, we can start AFC AFC. I brought the Bills into a combo, so. Got, okay, so yeah, okay, I got cheese number. One. Let's start up AFC East for now. AFC East. That's so, AFC East is Bills, Miami, New England, AFC, and the yeah. Jets. And the Jets slowed uh, well, down yeah. a lot too. They, they're 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 still kind of struggling with the quarterback. Thing. They're hit or miss. They got a little quarterback. Uh, I think they still gonna make the wild card. Them and Miami gonna make the wild card. Bro, give um, me the, about this. I got Jets number one. I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna be bold. They beat the Bills, bro. <laughs> you know how long that was. <laughs> Yeah, a whole lot of shit can happen in what a week or two. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially this late in the season, December. But nah, it's different, bro. <laughs> yeah, but Loki. Uh, but looking at fucking uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, Josh Allen be put in like tight situations, especially with divisional games. He struggles. You just say the but same thing like, with Mike like right now. Has been dealing with injuries, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah, the UCL injury, the elbow. Yeah, yeah. so that's been affected. But I he's still getting out. So still I don't know the division. Uh, the Jets are third in the division. The Dolphins are second. Second, I think. Not about uh, they ain't off by much, bro. I think Dolphins got an easy schedule the way out. Mm-hmm. They play the Chargers this week. The Packers been struggling on defense, and then they play the Jets. Mm-hmm. I think that might that might be the game to determine script. The Jets against Dolphins. Yeah, Ooh, I agree. That's the wild card right there. Yeah. So I got I got Bill still winning it, but it's gonna be an ugly game. <clears throat> yeah, but. Uh, you see the Bills making the the, the, the championship if they do make the playoffs? Mm. That's you know what's tough. crazy they're talking about? They don't know about paying Lamar, but at the same time, it's like they're first. They're leading the their division, the Ravens. Not by much. Yeah, no, they're, they're – yeah. Which I was going to get to the North in a second. Yeah, I mean, the Bengals, low-key, the, they've been on a four-win streak. Exactly. I got Bengals winning that division. Not by much, too. Uh, Green Nine? Because of the Lamar situation. I'm somewhere else. You still going Ravens winning that division? Despite it all? I'm taking Steelers winning it. They're coming back. They're winning out. <laughs> no, if they win that division, it's a wrap. <laughs> Boy, I'm about to talk so much shit. We win this one. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they better not go on a slump. <laughs> if the Steelers, I'm going to say this shit on camera. If the Steelers come back and win the fucking division, bro. I you know what that means? That means, the, that means the, Ravens, the Ravens have to lose out. The way Ravens have to lose out, which there's a high possibility that might happen. Yeah, the Bengals, let's see what they play. I think they play the – okay, so they play the Browns this week. They play the Patriots and the Ravens. Yeah, Bengals probably going to win. On paper, Bengals going to yeah. win that one. Yeah. Especially with paper. Jamar Chase back and healthy. Yeah, they, 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 Bengals are winning that one. And then <laughs> Titans are taking their division easily. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a walk in the park. Uh, it's crazy. The yeah, Jags started so hot, four and zero, and they've been like on a or three and zero, and then they've been on like a seven losing streak. Yeah. Kind of like my fantasy team, Those motherfuckers that figured them out. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like my fantasy team, you know. <laughs> Dog, what about right NFC? Here. NFC. NFC. Did you go? Oh yeah, you said South and uh, West already. Yeah. West, Kansas City winning that one. Yeah, he's West. Kansas City taking that. Uh, Chargers might barely make the wild card. The, the, the way how they've been winning and losing Is games. There's going to be someone in the AFC East and someone in the West that are going to get that wild. Card. Making a bold prediction yeah. for the wild card. Don't be surprised if Pittsburgh entertains the seventh seed. Mm-hmm. Especially with their Pittsburgh schedule. 
I'm ten and seven could get you a seven spot. If they beat the Ravens this week, that'd be big. Then they play the Raiders, which have been choking a lot. And then they play the Browns, which they lost to early on in the season. But who they knows? got Carolina at some point. He's getting those massages, so he hasn't been playing that <laughs> <game>. <laughs> I mean, I I have a feeling that joke was coming. I was like, wait a minute. If he gets a massage <laughs> give a for the game, he'll be good. I know how petty May Rick is. You know, you know what it is? You know what it is? I think uh, he did, he had a bad game this week because all those all those twenty five women that accused him were in the stands and they got front row seats. So he was supposedly crazy. I heard ten. Wait, they actually were there. They actually were there. No, they were actually at the game. He was ten. <laughs> no bullshit. That's some shit. So that boy, that boy going that's through probably, it. That's probably how he settled out of court. He was like, you know what? I'll get you season tickets, and I'll fight you. That was bound to happen anyway. On top of that, I'll give you 500K to shut your mouth. Even if he did it or not, that was bound to happen anyway. Yeah. So he had no choice. <clears throat> so we, so yeah. NFC? We, we up, Bucks? Arthur, yeah, right? NFC. Bucks are still first in the division. Bro, that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they went in the division. Ass. Yeah, it's, Everybody has a losing record. Bro, NFC North. It's for, it's for the Bucks. They yeah. it's uh, five hundred. Yeah, oh my bad. Bro. They beat the fucking Saints like it was nothing. I like, think NFC East is gonna have for sure three teams going to the playoffs. You got the Giants going too? Maybe. I mean, the way that it that's looks. A, that's a wild card for sure. Yeah. They might be a seven seed for the wild card though. Right now, we're competing against the Niners for the first seed. Yeah, but the thing is, this week we play the Panthers, so we'll probably get that dub. That should then, be a dub on paper. Then we play, but well, that's gonna be a good ass game. Chiefs against Seattle, December twenty fourth. Oh, before Christmas, yeah, uh, the Saturday night game. Yeah, and then we and then we seal it up with the Rams in the last game of the season. Okay, winning that division is gonna be pretty difficult. But worst case scenario, y'all y'all are six seed. Worst case scenario. Mm-hmm. So, because who would so be for the West? Say Eagles, Cowboys, Giants are in. That's three. Then we have the okay. Niners, Vikings, Bucks. Bro, if if G, if Geno Smith, uh, okay. one more. If Geno Smith wins, you guys at least two playoff games, dude. That's comeback player of the year. Oh, he's gonna win that re- award regardless. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Especially if he makes playoffs. We just need to just damn gotta, it might unanimously win that. Honestly, yeah. I feel like we're just really thin at running back just because uh, – what's his name? Walker got hurt with an ankle injury. He might be out this week. Um, oh, yeah, Homer is coming back this week. So – because he, he was uh, he was out for this game because uh, – what's his name? Uh, the running back, DJ Dallas, bro, he didn't do shit. He had like 11, 16 carries for like 36 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, two yards a clip. Struggling Rams defense. Yeah, two yards a clip, <laughs> bro. And I think I think um, uh, Walker had like Kenneth Walker had like three carries for like twenty yards, and then he got hurt. Damn, that's yeah. He was on pace again, six yards a clip. Yeah, she said Burger King offensive player of the year. This is the best. <laughs> hey, yo, chill out. <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's, no. He's Albert Taco's player of the year. Good job. He winning Burger King. <laughs> Josh fucked up. <laughs> I am screenshotting that one. <laughs> Yo, get off the chat. And we got Bell with the oh. switches of the year. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bell winning that one. Oh, switches man. of the year. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, this why I don't be hopping in all live. Man. Yeah. Me up, man. That's a fair case right there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some shit, man. What's we'll say? Uh, that's a quarterback. Let's get a pickup game so I can beat y'all ass again. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oh, Bell's in Big Bear? <laughs> trying to get a reception in Big Bear right now. <laughs> that boy's in Big Bear. Yeah, we're right now. But he always up there, though. <laughs> Bro, that nigga got switches. You think that nigga don't, you can't fuck around and get him some better Wi-Fi? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got loopholes through everything. No, he trying to smoke. He trying to smoke out uh, Smokey the Bear with the switches. <laughs> 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 nigga trying to find. Look that. Switches, all that. 
Man, that is the gun plug right there. I just, I just wish all that, all that, all them gun skills would switch to Call of Duty. Cause man, when I be playing with him, <laughs> like he laughing because he knows it's true. Hell, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, so what's the next? Uh, we Burger King offensive player. Yeah, of I know. Year. I know that if there's ever a fucking an apocalypse, I gotta go to Bell's crib. Oh, I'm killing that is first. hilarious. Man, I'm taking all his shit. <laughs> Not all of it. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna got, go put a got, tracker in each of the guns. He got AC one thirties in his house. He got uh, <laughs> he got the codes to call nukes. <laughs> UAV online. <laughs> <laughs> he got a juggernaut suit. Right. <laughs> he said, "Bro, trying to leave me with a slingshot." <laughs> Sweet <shot. laughs> This nigga is trying to leave me with a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, he gonna fuck around and tell you start using nine millimeters on a slingshot though. Knowing his right, <laughs> I will not be surprised. He'll <laughs> so be like, "Hey, this slingshot take nines, three fifty seven. Nigga, connect this shit to the nine, nigga. That shit work. Fuck, bro. You don't know. This nigga gonna be building, building his own guns. Like, yo. That nigga gonna go to his wedding with a golden eagle. <laughs> <laughs> He gonna go in there with a fifty cal. <laughs> he said, "Look, this is say you can make a shotgun out of a PVC pipe." Oh, I seen that. I'm taking that. Hey, uh, yeah, don't bullshit that by Abigail. You know what's crazy though? Because a lot, a lot of the people in El Salvador do that shit. Yeah, that's what they do. That's from the movie Sin Nombre. He said, "This is why I got a 3D print." This motherfucker snitching himself out, nigga. Next thing you know, strict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. We got him right here. We got him. Nah, we got him. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to be like, oh, oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, I think this is. She probably this won't shit, even uh, go to jail because he's a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said, this I can't. That. This is shit that Bell's talking about. You talking about this Bell right here? Mm hmm. No. This is, this is shoddy right here, my boy. They just put a yeah. gauge in there and they just pop that bitch. This motherfucker said I could be trolling. Like, nigga, we, we, when we when we have brown, nah, skin, nigga. Uh, <laughs> have brown skin, nigga, trolling don't exist to the cops. That's just crazy, Hell bro. no. Nigga. Yeah, that's well, that's the blueprint of the story. shotgun right there. Yeah. yeah, that's a trip how they make that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I guess I'm about to make that shit myself. The fuck? <laughs> Well, oh, you better be a professional welder, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, do, I, I did work in welding for like a year. Yo. So you just put the shell in there and just pop that bitch back. It's kind of like a pop gun. Pop gun. I was just about to say that, yeah. These these fuckers giving out the on, on, on the channel like God damn. Yo. The, nah, the, they give uh, giving the game away. Say so go to jail. That's all it is. <laughs> bro, don't don't send that to the prison. Bro. They gonna fuck around trying to get shotgun shells somehow. They gonna make a shotgun out of uh, fucking toothbrush plastic, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's that? Bro, you blowing your arm off with that? Right, <laughs> right. That's the point. <laughs> On the next sports topic, right? Well, then it's actually on the civic. This nigga here. You know what? Damn. <laughs> Bill, long off. <laughs> Damn. Hey, next person to say some shit, I'm going to snitch him out. <laughs> Duh. Yo. One inch off the ground. Damn. One inch off the ground. <laughs> Yo. That was after he got in the car, right? Right. <laughs> Yo, that suspension system was. How did we get here? Where's my menudo, bro? Where's my menudo? Damn, screw smacking on the menudo. No, no screw might take the bones out the menudo and put it in the shotgun. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> all you need is a shell casing, right? Hey, but all you need is a shell casing, right? All you need is a shell casing. You can put anything. I've seen people put like coins. That's a Bill. You can't do that. <laughs> Look. I got Derrick Henry. I ain't gonna lie. Me too. You know why? You know why? Because Herschel Walker ran the fuck out of Ray Lewis over. Well, he was a rookie, though. So what? That brother was barely 215. Prime Ray Lewis. I bet you ain't doing that with Ray Lewis with 215. Give me Prime Ray Lewis, bro. Prime. 
That's what I'm saying. I'm pretty confident he's mentioned in prime both of them in a prime prime. Give me, That's a tough one. You give me prime Ray Lewis, bro. I don't think he'll run him over. I think it'll be a big ass collision though. Yes, I agree. But that motherfucker wanna know who gonna win though. That's the tough out. <laughs> I'm gonna be biased and I'm gonna go Ray Lewis. You already know the deal. Oh, I knew you was gonna go biased hey. a little bit. But I can't decide, Papa. If he wants to hear a winner, bro, I'm getting Ray Lewis. Now, what about <laughs> we, we can argue that fucking uh, uh, Lawrence Taylor was was tougher than fucking uh, than than Ray Lewis. But think about it. He going up against three hundred pound offensive tackles every goddamn yeah, play. But you got to remember too, Lawrence Taylor used to do crack before every game. <laughs> Uh, this is before PEDs and so shit like he that. Didn't, he didn't feel shit. He didn't feel shit, bro. You don't see them bums. That boy was past PEDs. Wait, on, that on, boy on. took the course. This was before the murder case, then. Bro, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't see bums in the streets when they tweaked out, bro. They get tased up three times. They don't feel shit. That motherfucker was normal. Bro, <laughs> he took the drug. I, I witnessed this shit. It's horrible <laughs> taking them up and down. So imagine Lawrence Taylor on the drugs, and he's still getting sacks left and right. Yeah, that's some shit, man. <laughs> that's impressive, believe it or not. The same thing, what's his name? Uh, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, senior. He was always coked up. Cool. That motherfucker was coked up every fight. Oh, my. Cool, bro. Strength with quarterback. Nigga, Lamar. Stop. Mike <laughs> what? I love Mike Vick, but nah, it's not. Even if you try to compare different eras, nah, it's it's Lamar, bro. <laughs> In terms of arm, I'll take Mike Vick. Not by much. Not by much, but I feel like Lamar's more accurate. More accurate statistically. But, but more accurate, but Vick had that cannon. Lamar didn't really need a cannon. I feel like he has it. He just he wasn't accurate I think with it. That's what's going on this year. That's why he's so inaccurate. He put on he, he put on some muscle. He don't know how to control it. He never played with muscle in his fucking. I mean that brother did gain like fifteen pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, motherfucker. So, if you had DK, he had DK Metcalf telling, "Hey, bro, let me get a bicep, bro." We ain't gonna talk about DK back out. That motherfucker is not normal at receiver, <laughs> size wise. Bro, bro, you know what's crazy? All right, so I went to the game on Sunday, bro. I kid you not, he was open every fucking play. Mm -hmm. That's how I know the NFL Perfect. has to be rigged, bro. Because you know what I mean, bro. He was open, like, because I mean, obviously the camera don't show up field, bro. He would literally burn. Yeah, the whole thing. Thing. He would burn like all these other DBs, bro. Yeah. And like, That's I was like, but the NFL got to be rigged, bro. Because all you got to do Hello, is get bro. a fast motherfucker like Tyreek. He'll just keep running streaks. That's it. You know what I mean? Running in and out and up, whatever it is. Uh, even if you have a good pressing corner to try to stop Tyreek, if he gets off that break, it's a wrap. Bro, you're you're not meant to run backwards. Like, you know what I mean? Like a deep yeah, oh yeah, naturally not. Exactly. Like, come on now. <laughs> Why do you think they line up like three to four yards away from the ball? <laughs> yeah, for real. Just have a chance. Because right, was... honestly, that's why I'm like, bro, that shit ain't real. This one's for y'all, man. What? So you gonna do to us? You gonna blow us or what? This nigga here. <laughs> this nigga here. You said that's for us. Said that's why I don't watch the NFL. I mean that's fair. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, that's fair. That ain't probably his team's cheek, so. He's a Steelers fan, so. Hey, Scrib. Listen, here's the press. Hey, hey, John, if you bring that, if you bring that henny, I got that honey for you. <laughs> Oh hell no! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> hell no! About to be geeked up the whole goddamn night. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, huh? About to be tripped out. Man. Be like Max. <laughs> God damn! Uh, what? Yo, what? Hold on. What? What? Yo, what? Yeah, my dog's a what? down back king. My dog's a down back king. <laughs> His script was like, what? <laughs> I know. I said some wild shit on live, nigga, but what the fuck? Is oh, you still said some wild shit. Don't, don't get it fucked up, script. <laughs> you just said some outlandish shit. <laughs> you be saying some disrespectful shit. Hey, yo, Max. Who's <laughs> that ass for, big fella? What's going on, bro? What's the deal, Samantha? G. Roby. Okay. That's my brother, Robert. Oh, get his ass on. Get his ass on. Request, nigga. Oh, you still gonna talk about that wild ass nah, prediction he made? Hold on. Bro, what what, what predictions on. you make? What predictions you make? Okay, Go. let me try to break this down. Wait, Go ahead. Do you want Robert coming here to explain? 
No, you go ahead. Do you want to go ahead? Hey, hey Bell, DM hey, me that, DM Robert, DM real quick. that video, Bell. DM me that video. Motherfucker, I'll send it to oh, you. Oh, that's cool. I'll send it to you personally. Is that the one? No. <laughs> Is that the one? Supposedly, like, ah, my brother yeah. said, supposedly, my brother said, for the Chargers, if healthy, uh -huh. he thinks Khalil Mack and Joey Boza combined, keyword, combined, mm -hmm. going to get 40 shots alone. <laughs> Thank you very much. It proves my Bro, point. That's impossible. And the funny thing is, they're not even—they don't even have thirty sacks of the team right now. They don't even have twenty. <laughs> oh, twenty? Oh, even worse. They don't even have twenty. I'm actually looked at how many sacks they have. Even if they were healthy, they're getting thirty max. If I'm, and I'm being very nice with the thirty. So for him to say forty was wild. Damn, they have fifteen sacks. <laughs> Proving my point. <laughs> when he said that shit, I was like, yo. Oh. I was like, you drunk as fuck. He tried to tell me, <laughs> tell me to, like, bro, let me explain this. Script. Like, you don't, I don't care how you explain it. You don't got to explain the goddamn thing. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is as a duo to get 28 to 32 sacks? Wait as a, a duo. Wait, it's healthy. Have... It's unheard of. Okay, so so far these are the twenty-two statistics by the NFL. It says they have twenty-seven sacks, but even then, it's like it's still. It's not close. You talking about the whole team? Though. Yeah, yeah, the whole team, the whole team. Princess, bro, you can you can make an argument. Alex Highsmith combined got more sacks than both of them combined. Hey, shout out to the Chargers for uh, letting go of Wansu. That boy's a dog. Oh yeah, yeah, he a dog. Bro, he a dog. He a dog. Uh, I'm gonna forget, dog. Shout out to the Chargers. Man, it's still on here. Yo, now, Rob, still on here. <laughs> Bro, get him on the fucking thing. I want to hear it. You have to do it. You're the host. <clears throat> Let me invite him. Bro, I need to get some sleep, bro. Yeah, that's all, uh, too. He said the fastest exactly. you know, are getting it's in the big It's stupid hard to get. Well, fuck. The fastest yeah. the kids are getting in the big What the hell is he talking about? about? Like, that's what I was like. I'm going to let it be. I'm going to publicly for you to embarrass yourself <laughs> with this dumbass argument. Well, you got to think about, too, like the, how fast their quarterbacks release the ball nowadays. Exactly. Right now. Like, you see how, like, if you, watch, if you watch a bit of my bad, John, but if you watch videos from, like, back then, how they used to do their drop step, bro, like, they would run backwards. Like, who does that? You know what I mean? Now they do the side lateral step, and it's mm -hmm. quick, or it's just a quick release. Really, so quarterbacks are getting fucking smarter. Mm -hmm. They're going to throw the some bitch away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why take the sack and just throw it away? Unless you're Joe Burrow, you're taking sacks all day. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, he's getting his shit together now. Oh, God. Even still, it's like, damn, Joe, just throw it away, my boy. <laughs> you think you think the Bengals uh, can make the Super Bowl this year? Mm, it's gonna it's gonna be a harder. I would um, like to see I would like to see the Bengals and Chiefs rematch in the uh, championship. Me too. I don't Same. think the Titans going far. Uh, I mean, no, the Bills, Bills are hit or miss. The Bills, the are, points the Bills only have point lost three games. Um, one of them being to the Jets, right? The other one being to the <laughs> Dolphins <laughs> early on in the season. I forgot the other one. That's how you know Bill don't watch football. My nigga's still stuck on Joe Flacco, even though that nigga's still playing. <laughs> hey, he, no, I mean, he's talking about the drop steps and shit like that. He said, unless you're Joe Flacco. Yeah. I'm a, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Damn, bro, I fucked up my rotator cup. <laughs> you better run that motherfucker. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or unless you're a Big Ben, too, you know, his last year. Bro, Big Ben was a dog, though. He could not, you could not get his big ass. He down. was a dog. He keep taking them goddamn hits. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was a dog for sure. He was breaking tackles in the pocket. Breaking tackles or he the one getting broke? <laughs> oh, both. That was bad. Aaron Boy, Rodgers, the Aaron Rodgers be taking some nasty licks, too. Bubba, what Dog. are you with it, man? Oh, shit. John Love. Hey, how about Bama, though? How about Bama? <laughs> Y'all got to do him like that, bro. Come on now, man. Fuck that. Well, you know how Bama fans are. They talk big shit early in the year. <laughs> They run into Georgia. It's a rat. All right, what's what's that? What's that other team that beat them? The uh, Stan? No, not Stan. Oh, Tennessee. No, Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, by the point, that 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 shit had me crying. Tennessee, bro. bro their receiver had like four, ca five catches for like three hundred yards or some shit. Like <laughs> like, Fuck y'all! Like, Yo, hey, man. crazy stats. 
Crash side. I'm an Oregon fan, so I can't say shit, man. Ah, damn. Ever since Herbo left. <laughs> hey, what you, did y'all talk about um, Dion going to Colorado yet? No, but that's actually good, though. No. You should talk about that. It's a good. It's crazy how, like, what do you guys think about that? Him going Dude. to an actual division. Because I think he was at a division one, but it was like a, what is it called? The uh, historic HBCU? <laughs> So you think you think you think his son will transfer over, or, or he's just gonna stay at that? School? Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's gonna do that transfer for one year and then see if he can go to the NFL. Bama would beat the Ravens. Bama would beat the Steel. Nigga, what? What? <laughs> you smoking now? Tripping. You high now? <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. And then uh, DJ Ugalele, he's uh, transferring. Uh, I don't know where he's, but he's entering the transfer portal from mm -hmm. Clemson because he got benched. He got benched that uh, that last game. You talking about the Clemson quarterback? Yeah, he got benched in that mm -hmm. ACC championship game. Yeah, that's to tell you everything you need to know right there. Why? Because he was doing bad or what? What? What the I, transfer I portal? Do you have to wait out a year, or that's done? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they. I'll look it up right now. Nah, but I think, I think they took that away now. Because which I think is stupid. Why would I sit out a year after transfer? That's not. But I, honestly, Dion is about to shake the portal. They're, everyone's gonna want to. Yeah, yeah, who wouldn't want to play with Dion? Who wouldn't? Yeah. And especially now that they have those uh, name player likeness things, like bro, those people are about to get. Whoever's going to school is gonna get paid. Oh, Justin mm -hmm. Flo, he's leaving Oregon. Damn, that's go for real. Yeah. Wow. As a fucking yep, yep. I could probably check all the players that are in the transfer portal, like top. Uh, that's man. crazy. This nigga Justin going to Texas for a battle, like this. He's probably going to go to Texas. <laughs> Hell no. That nigga save it out here. Losing it. <laughs> that man about that, that boy take two losses. He ready to shoot somebody. That man is on. That man is on fucking thin ice right now. He's old. Nah. Nah, I think, he'll, I think he's doing pretty good. They really thought they're going to take TCU out the playoff contention for Alabama. No. <laughs> that ain't happening, bro. <laughs> Y'all got two losses. Hey, you realize, Cut it out. Hey, you realize this, these two motherfuckers <laughs> talking shit, right? I'm not saying shit, bro. Yeah, so DJ, there's a lot of quarterbacks going into the portal. Uh, yeah, see, I think the biggest thing yeah. is DJ Ugalele. There's a receiver from Oregon going into the portal. Um... Honestly, it's just a lot of quarterbacks. Who CCU, who CCU going up against, Bubba? I forgot. Did they play in one of the bowl games? I, I, I forgot. Justin Flo. Justin Flo, yeah. Mm. I'm just saying, Bubba, we going off of records, bruh. Nah, they, they, they letting TCU stay in. Them. They letting them stay in, bro. <laughs> Bama got two, two losses versus their one. On principle, they're going to let TCU in. Yeah, on principle. On principle. Do you know what the first thing they going to say? The committee was probably saying, you lost to Tennessee. So at Georgia, Michigan, TCU. So who? Georgia plays Ohio State, right? I think so. And then TCU plays Michigan. Did they, extend, did they extend the playoffs yet? No, it's still 2024, right? You know how they were going to do the – Oh, that, that's what we're talking the about. 14 uh, ain't that good? That's what What's the about. four? So, we're talking about how, like, they're going to – they talked about extending the uh, the playoffs, I think, to, like, 12 teams, right? 12 or 16 teams? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What the hell? 12 teams, so, yeah. So, if gonna... you don't think Michigan and TCU and arguably – uh, or uh, USC, Ohio State USC flop. USC flop. They really lost to Notre Dame. Oh no, they beat Notre Dame. Actually, I'm lying. Who did they lose to recently? Utah, right? Yeah, Utah. Uh, Utah State or some shit like that. They lost to Utah. Oh, Utah, okay. which dropped them back a lot. Yeah, yeah, it lost. So they and they lost. They lost to both Utah teams. Utah and Utah State. Bro, it's so crazy to see Tulane in the top. Uh, Bubba said nobody's hanging with Georgia. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Georgia's been killer, bro. That that fucking last year's defense. That whole city in Atlanta losing it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what? <laughs> Georgia easily winning this one. Not a debate, bro. It's crazy. People were just talking about oh, Ohio State deserves to be in the playoffs, and guess what? They ended up making it. Yeah. 
Oh, they didn't make it? No, they did. They did. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Like, how? <laughs> yeah, they did. Because, uh, and then Utah bum went up a lot. I read some comment that said, uh, <laughs> uh, Bell said that, uh, that receiver from Tennessee is the truth. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he's a dog. Big tracks. <clears throat> yeah. I ain't really heard from him since Zeke left. That was Ohio trap. Bit. Bubba, log off. You talking about, about Jalen Hyatt? What, what's the name, right? But Marvin Harrison Jr., though. That motherfucker. Go That's what I'm saying. Yo, he is he going to the draft this year? Next year, man, sir? Or he has another year? I think. I don't know if he. Uh... He said, all right, let's see what Bubba got to say. Bubba being biased as hell right now. <laughs> yeah, you know that. <laughs> nah, they got two whole losses, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, he's only a, and he's only a sophomore, bro. So, he'll so fight. Bubba, by your logic, that means he'll by your logic, it. Bubba, that <laughs> means Michigan is trash. Then he said, "Patty kick division." <laughs> so you basically say Michigan is trash too. By your logic, they're in the same division, same conference. Uh, Marvin Harrison, uh, no, I mean, uh, Bell said it. he is stupid if he don't enter now. Uh, I, think, I think he's talking about Tiger. Junior. He said yes. Bubba said yes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> no, unless, unless they're in the SEC, they're trash. <laughs> right. That's what they're, it sounds if like. they're not in the SEC, they're trash. They got it. <laughs> So I don't want to hear LSU, Mississippi State, Mississippi, Arkansas. Sad part is they lost to LSU. <laughs> this is why I'm saying Georgia is sweeping. On the yeah. road again. <laughs> I can't wait to be on the road again. But if Georgia lose one of these games, oh, it's going to be bad. Yeah. It's going to be bad. The year Alabama don't make it, y'all can't finish? Mm-hmm. Nah. I got to keep up with some more fucking college football, man. Fuck. Luckily, their games ain't going to start in like three weeks. All right. So, yeah, I think it's uh, December 31st is the first one, and then January it's all bowls, 1st right? is the other mm-hmm. playoff game. Playoffs, not right? Or bowls? Yeah, yeah they're play- both games, yeah. Playoff, playoff games is going to be, what, is it I say Georgia versus uh, uh, Ohio State and oh, then Michigan yeah. against TCU. I mean, yeah, TCU. Oh, yeah, he is right. It is in L.A. this year. What championship? Are you talking about for the college? You talking about the Natty or the – Bubba on Instagram that whole year that happened. (laughs) 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 That's terrible. Boy, I know he was hurt. (laughs) Like what she saw the news Sunday (laughs) that it wasn't going to make it. (laughs) Hey, man. The Natty, damn, that's crazy. What are they going to play? Were they playing at UCLA or are they playing at SC? At the Rose Bowl? I think SC. The Rose Bowl? Stadium, it has to be SC on Thursday. Or maybe the Rams in Charger Stadium. SoFi? SoFi? Well, why did I say that? Why did I say SoFi? Uh, you yeah. I have a feeling they're going to play at SoFi, money-wise. I'll tell you right here. We can go. Shit, them tickets are going to be expensive, though. Yeah, it is going to be at oh, SoFi. <laughs> It is oh. at it is at SoFi. It is at SoFi. So yeah, it makes sense. The Rams, then, the Rams and Chargers is San Diego. Sadly, which financially it makes sense on both owners, if you think about it. but financially, but hey, it happens. Yeah, I mean, I ain't, ain't my team, so I ain't worried about it. Exactly. Yeah, people all of a sudden become Rams fans. Talking about yeah, nah, I rep LA team, bro. Hey, we we all gotta hit a fucking uh, game though, but the fucking they just trash right now. <laughs> nigga Bubba said when SC lost and TCU lost, I was rubbing my head. Like Birdman, huh? Man. Like Birdman. Man. Oh, Birdman. <laughs> that man was hitting Birdman. starting fires. Well, he, was, he could he wait till Sunday for the final he was results. He looking at himself in the mirror like Birdman. Like, <laughs> oh, you talking about Chris Williams? He was just on like an hour ago. Yeah, he was on. He was on for like an hour. <laughs> 
Well, no, as soon as that nigga Bubba saw the final standings, he was like, oh, hell no. Where my switch at? <laughs> he said, Bell, get the switch. <laughs> get the switch. <laughs> Bell, get the switch. The whole committee, the whole committee getting the blicky. <laughs> but he's like, bro, I'm out of work rolling. Man. Well, I heard it's Alabama didn't make it out. Damn. Sucks to suck. Yeah, Shouldn't have never lost to LSU. <laughs> That's fucking horrible, man. They lost to Tennessee and LSU. What's are good teams? Yeah. Let's be honest. Bama's defense is god awful as well. Wait, who's? Alabama's uh, defense. Uh, god awful. You just, you just like triggering Bubba, huh? That's messed up. Bama no, not back. really. I'm not really. Man, they're back every year. Just one year. They, they took a little vacation this year. We know they're always in the playoffs. Bro, they win a national championship like every other year. <laughs> Nick Saban got to work. Oh, look at that. Interesting. <laughs> He said, <laughs> oh, Bell, log off. <laughs> bro, go take care of these patients, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? He's bleeding from his carotid artery. He's like, nah, you'll be hey, you, hey, He said, Pops, you mean Massa? Massa? That's a saving. That motherfucker is a, a cowboy hat away and a whip away from whipping the motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, everybody, everybody, and the stars are getting hot, dog, soggy hot dog. <laughs> Saving like that the road. Oh <laughs> uh, hell no! You gonna have Durazo in there doing them cow moves. All right, Durazo. Hell no! This is a best saving like that's a low. Facts. You ain't lying. I'm not lying either. <laughs> That boy close snap is not playing with that bullshit. He really said, don't disrespect Pops, Bell. <laughs> That's hilarious. He got he's working the cotton fields at practice. Yo! <laughs> man! <damn. laughs> Yo! Bro, I'm about to repost this, man. What the fuck? Yo! <laughs> Everybody dodge charges and challenges. He said, cherry pickers? Nah, we don't do no cherry picking around here. Probably <laughs> <laughs> no, not. We don't do no screens around here. <laughs> we doing five yard routes bare minimal. And <laughs> hey, he got him doing them rolls. Who used to, who used to make do those rolls at practice? You got to lay down and roll hundred yards. You got him doing. Oh, so, I feel like that's a collective unit of the fucking coaches, though. <laughs> but it was mainly uh, Coach G doing that shit. He said, "Get to rolling, get to rolling. You got to throw up." Man, that just be hella annoying. All fucking disoriented and shit. Hey, what, what, what? Like, damn, one of the linemen late. <laughs> one of the linemen come late. It's a wrap. <laughs> but we doing up downs. 50 of them. <laughs> Four quarters, nigga. Fuck that. Got them working I'm like, like Tanilius. Hey, they got them working like Tanilius. Hey, last one. Fastest one out the gate. <laughs> oh, Bubba, I do remember that one. <laughs> Boy, he said I was geeked up. With the Are you talking about the dude with the ashy car? He used to work at the Coca Cola factory, I think. Maleki. I think so. Yeah, Maleki, yeah, with the ashy car. Yeah. There you go. Nigga had an ashy ass car. He would paint his nails too. Oh, man. <laughs> ashy ass. Talking about Maleki. Nah, <laughs> nothing gets worse when Dion and his Tims. Slanted <laughs> oh, Tim. Nothing gets worse, bro. And you remember, hey, you remember I, Dion, Dion bro, and that's that dude? I ask myself, how do you catch traction with Tims, my boy? Like, bro, I, no, I remember watching. To the thing, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Hey, he used to have energy on the last one. Motherfuckers be gassed out. And then, Hell no, I'm sitting there looking at Tanilius hey, like, hey, this see, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck was this run like two sets ago? Bro, you see him running with his cut up shirt, his little ass crack popped up with shirt lifted. Man, up. listen, that was every day in campus all the way to the goddamn field. Bro, that was just normal. Was halfway through his back. Bro, I remember that nigga. He, when, I, when I was a freshman, he told me, like, bro, the doctor told me I'm 65% muscle. I'm like, <laughs> Nigga, I heard that in the back. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. You actually nigga lying now. Hey, he played pickup game. He tried to be quarterback in front of the coaches. Man, to, man, to man, he 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 3.30. My nigga, what you doing? <laughs> you don't get your ass on the line. Well, I remember I remember it because we were, me and Scoob were freshmen, and uh, he came into the weight room. I don't know why the fuck he was in fifth grade weight room, bro. 
but he came into the weight room trying to curl, bro. He was trying to curl 225 on a barbell, and he was bouncing that bitch. That nigga damn side. near tore his fucking bicep. Bro, he was right, I was just about to say that. Uh, tight end, go. He's literally trying to line up at tight end. Like, nigga, you are 330. <laughs> My nigga, cut it out. Nice. <laughs> like, nigga, if I'm barely playing left and right tackle at 330, what your fat ass think you about to do play a tight end? Hey, he Stop was a the dog. He had that elite speed, though. You didn't see him flashing away? Yeah, once every, I don't know, 25 runs. On the last one. Good one. The best rep on the last one. That man had the most. And, uh, most and he was, that motherfucker could be running a 4 5 in that milk. last run. Like, sweet. bro, chill out. And he was sweating milk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Yo. <laughs> no, that's hot it. <laughs> no, I got nothing. Yo. I that's thought I was an asshole, nigga. Fuck. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's some <laughs> shit. Hey, y'all remember Cream Puff too? Mm hmm Soft ass motherfucker. Wait, which one? <laughs> the little one. The only one that me and Bubba experienced or the younger brother? Nah, the younger one. The soft ass dude. Okay, uh, you're talking about Dominguez, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. That man. That's hilarious. Bro, that motherfucker was cheeks. Bro, I remember one. Oh, he's there. You know when, when, when Dorazo, R.I.P., uh, we used to do like the lineman drills on the on the purple man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On okay. the on the sled. It, it, it would, like one side will only be we we shift this so we going in circles. Yeah. I remember one time we were going three times straight and the left side wouldn't move. Fucking Dominguez just came from the back of the line. We didn't even know this motherfucker was here. He was like, "Bro, let me get on this shit." Like, bro, that shit's not gonna fucking move. He didn't move shit, huh? He didn't move shit. I'm like, bro, bro. We swear he was tired. I'm like, bro, we just started. <laughs> My nigga, we just started. <laughs> and the sad part is I was playing center, too, so I knew there was, like, the left side wasn't shifting at all. I'm like, yo, I know I'm pushing this shit. Yeah, he just couldn't. No, no, hey, it's not his call. I don't know if you guys remember my... Oh, nigga. Who? Do I? Who? That motherfucker was just fighting, my... fighting seniors for no reason. The Tongan dude. Uh, I don't remember. I don't Both remember. of them. Well, you talk about the oldest one, right? My head, yeah, the one that was fighting. Yeah. Nigga, bro. I remember one time this, me and him went at it, bro. Nigga, damn near. Fuck my ankle up, bro. Like, I'll never forget when scripted in one on ones with the Samoan chick. And he took an L. <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear this bro, one. She was, she was, they did one on ones. I think because script, bro, he felt bad. He didn't want to go hard on her. He was like, oh, I don't want to. I, like I would have been the same way too. I go. Oh, and then, and then, and then, like she, she got his ass the first time. She locked him up. So he was like, all right, bet. He's like, and Scrib was like, run it again then, because everyone was clowning him. Motherfucker ran it again and put her on her ass. <laughs> but, I feel like Scrib was in a lose lose situation in a sense. <laughs> yeah, he was in a lose lose because if you run her over, oh, it's a chick, but she run him over. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I looked at it. Yo, <laughs> hey, but then, hey, true story though. She, uh, when I started boxing again, she, she apparently she was like, coincidentally, she was there. Damn, she, you should have told her one one on one again. <laughs> right? No, she, we ran. We ran. Opportunity to dance, huh? <laughs> Let's run the fade. <laughs> nah, but fucking, uh, that shit was nah. I was like, <clears throat> what do I do? Yeah, it's and a little situation. The fact that she was like 350 pounds and I was like, what, 230 at the time? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. Oh, well. <laughs> See, I wasn't a little petty then versus now. It still, it still haunts <laughs> me to this day, bro. It's mad. <laughs> nah. I'm glad I wasn't petty as I was now versus then. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah, equal opportunity. Come over here. Hey, how you doing? Equal opportunity, this nigga said. He... About to get this work. <laughs> Want to get here with the big boys? All right, say no more. I remember the, hey, man. I remember the, bo the booster club, BB B. B. Henry's mom, speaking of elite athlete. Oh, Al, that nigga BB Henry has some comedy moments, bro. <laughs> When when Dom when when they put him at tight end when Barry behind Barry when Barry pile drive this shit 
Nigga. <laughs> nah, but I remember when, when, when she joined the team, fucking the whole, well, not the whole Booster Club, uh, majority of the bro, we gonna be supporting her, I'm gonna be wearing her number, like, not even your damn son, the fuck? Like, you supporting her more than you support your own kids, like, goddamn. Oh, yeah, man, that's the sad part. That's sad. When I looked up the varsity lineup, they had they really had BB Henry as a second straight tight end behind Barry. I was like, oh hell no. Hey yo, Tillilius. That's probably just to keep his, ma- his mom on hush because she was complaining. Who wasn't forget, she? I'll never forget his mom. His mom came up to us a freshman and was like, Oh yeah, he got a scholarship uh to ASU. He just need to put on sixty more fucking pounds. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, <laughs> it's like he just need to put on 20 more pounds of muscle. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, that motherfucker. Oh, wow. He had some comedy moments in some of them where the camel and cleats. Oh, that was hilarious. And when he came out with the fucking uh, co- the collar vampire. That was I there for that one? Oh, he no, you weren't there for that one. Yeah, let. No, well, probably was it. No, damn, I didn't know about that one. Oh, that man came out with a vampire collar. I'm like, yo, you already heard what someone's like. I'm a vampire. <laughs> yo, no, <Not a> baby. <laughs> bro, that nigga, and that nigga, baby Henry had all the the fresh gear, but was ass, bro. Bro, they ripped that shit. Pissed me off when I saw the start the the uh the tight end group. They really had this nigga at second string tight end behind Barry. I'm like, nigga, I could have played tight end. Mary, your brother could have played tight end. <laughs> That's this Mary kids. Your brother could. He had the height and the weight to play tight end easily. Yeah, but you you gotta find a yeah. It's just a program, man. Yeah. Yeah. And also, yeah. also a quarterback is going to throw you the fucking ball instead of just throwing it to one guy. Well, at least you got a big ass target you could throw it to just in case shit hits the fan. <laughs> I feel like Manriquez, you could have been a good tight end if you didn't stick. Secure- That's the only thing he could have. Ca- if he could catch, and you can. What are you? I'm pretty confident he could have developed catch. I'm pretty confident. You could de- you can actually teach that shit. And you can. All you need is some good gloves, honestly, bro. Yeah, that's all you need. Cutters, cutter gloves. No, hands down. Hey. No, I'm pers- spray some stick them on the gloves. That's it. Yeah, or some tape. No, no, they catch you with that stick them. They kick you out the country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Oh, this motherfucker was cheated. <laughs> no, we gotta kick him out. <laughs> Shit, any, Hell any, no. Any more sports topics, fellas. That man said he sweating like milk. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm still in that one. I'm like, yo. That's like, that's like that this was a fucking disrespectful. This dude named Preston from freshman year, me and Victor. Bro, I don't know if you remember him, John, but. We both fought that nigga, bro. Yeah, I had to soften him up for script. I, 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 I fought that nigga first. No, you didn't. I did first. It was during the beginning of the It was towards the end of the season because he was drinking water. Oh. And I was like. So oh, I got mad at him because he wasn't doing shit and he was drinking water, so I snatched the water at his hand and I tackled his ass. <laughs> right, so fuck the yeah, video. That shit. Yeah, that shit got me mad. I, mean, I don't know why I did it, but I mean, I just no, no, nah, you, you, no. I know you feel bad about. Yeah, you didn't write that. Trust me, that he deserved that shit, <laughs> bro. Motherfucker was drinking all that damn water. He wasn't doing shit. No, he, no, was he drinking the Gatorade or just the water in general? No, nah, or he did both. Water. It was the water. We never got Gatorade in practice. Nah, if I see you, if I see you with a Gatorade, motherfucker, nah, that's hands on sight. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you can kick me off a game. Fuck that. Fuck what nah, when you get that Gatorade, that's a privilege. <laughs> Trust me. Especially when uh, me and Bubba, your brother, was playing. Trust me. Nah. No, 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 you got you the Gatorade. You have respect for, for going through fucking Hell Week with. The fuck he was doing, Nader, bro. I don't know how the fuck he did that shit. He couldn't oh, drink yeah, no water. Oh, all day. He couldn't drink no fucking water, bro. He said he couldn't. He said, "Oh, he was gonna run it up." Mouth. And then, and yeah, then, he was gonna run it up. Yeah, and bro, and he would fucking. He said, well, he could stuff, his, uh, stuff on his face just to make sure he wakes up, just yeah. to make sure he stays." Because yeah. he said he would wake up at three o'clock just to eat. I was like, "What the fuck?" Mm-hmm. 
I think from sunrise he couldn't eat yeah, all the way yeah, to sunset. Like, it's just when it's dark, I guess. Bro, that's <clears throat> that shit. That bro, I, that shit makes me wonder. Like, bro, how are you? How are you alive to this day? Bro, motherfucker. Oh, it's doable. <laughs> it's just doing it in a hundred degree weather. How did he, why he was doing shit? That's probably why he was so small fat. too. Honestly, because his body wasn't like retaining none of nothing. <laughs> he wasn't eating enough. I remember we we, we got fucking. Play. Him, bro. Like, bro, just drink something, bro. He was like, nah, motherfucker got cotton mouth, just rinse his mouth, and that's it. Yeah. Bro, you yeah, know what? I would slip up. I'm sorry, God, you know what I mean? But I would slip up. I'm I feel up. like I would understand. That's the sad part. Yeah. <laughs> like, go ahead, drink that water, my nigga. <laughs> drink the water. Yeah. Well, I don't want your kidneys to run out mid-block. <laughs> For real. Yeah. He definitely put that, he, he, he was definitely put to the test with that shit. I was like, oh, hell no. Yeah. And after that hell week, I think his Ramadan was over after that week. I yeah, think. yeah, it was always when the fucking he was doing that shit. It was every time it was hell week, it was damn. So that's why they call it hell week, then, huh? Fuck. Hell yeah. For him, yeah. It, was, for him it was. How many times do we practice? Do we typically practice like two or three times a, a day? It was twice a day. So first we would do in the morning. I remember we would just go in pads, go out mm -hmm. there, practice, mm -hmm. and then in the afternoon was like lifting, and then. Either you throw in your pads or whatever it was. And Actually, it, yeah, exactly. Go pads again. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. You can't do two a days no more. No, nah, why not? I guess because it's fucking bad. I, I see, I have said so. I guess I it's, I, it's bad yeah. for the kids. I didn't know about that. Yeah, they. they uh, well, I was talking about the next game. Our, one of our coaches from high school. And he said, yeah, they don't. Uh, CIF doesn't allow two a days no more. Hey, hey, Vic, you already told uh, Wit? Yeah, I did. Uh, for sure, because you should have told him the Kute might pull up, because he said, oh, I'll see what's up. Yeah, sounds good, then. Uh, hopefully, he can pull up, you know. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining Demi Fit and then Gooch. I don't know who. What's up, guys? Oh, that's Demi. That's your cousin? Nah. No, no, right. Gooch. Oh. Gucci. <laughs> Man, that shit, that shit crazy. That nigga yeah. called him. Oh, and then, now that, now that, now that, now that help is, 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 uh, like illegal, like lines, money line. Who do the lines play this week? Who do they play this week? Oh, they play, they play fucking uh, fuck. Who do they play? I this forgot week? who they play. It's a is it a divisional game? I have no idea. Oh, it's another game. Oh, the fucking Vikings, I think. Uh, that'd be a good Wait. game. It's a divisional game, so that's uh, I don't know about my time on lines though. Minnesota, yeah, I figured yeah, they're underdogs. So I mean, I guess that would be a good game to bet. Lions yeah, defense, I agree. Lions been doing a little bit better. Yeah, I like they that. just got to keep feeding Amonra. They got to keep feeding Amonra St. Brown and Jamal Williams. Yeah, That's it. yeah, I feel bad so Swift for Swift though, because I know he's a good running back, but I feel like um, that coach he needs to be a starter on another team. That's yeah, all. honestly, that's just not the team. He doesn't fit. Yeah. You know, because Jamal Williams is leading all running backs in total touchdowns by a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's leading the league. He's on his Todd Gurley shit, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> now, Damn. Another sports topic. Hey, uh, what do you got? What do you think about uh, Faulkner, John Faulkner dating uh, Wiley's sister? Ah. Damn. That man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Vic. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Nah, Wiley look like the sweat off of Tanelia's. Let me stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> That's like a milk dud, huh? That shit look terrible. <laughs> I ain't going to say much, but Hell I got no. Mac I, I got Faulkner macking. This <laughs> man Faulkner. here. Faulkner's a dog, bro. Don't forget that. Oh, man. For the big white girls. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody needs some love. You know what I mean? You know what I'm right. Everybody need love. Where was you, script with your antennas? You was just watching. <laughs> Documenting, motherfucker. Documenting. Oh, that boy was skipping the whole situation like 2K. Oh, man, huh? <laughs> also, not, you don't deny you was he, said, he said in his head, he was like, man, I wish that was me. <laughs> <laughs> that boy was analyzing. <laughs> he said, I wish that was me. He said, man, this man played the trumpet. Like, if I can convince her to do that, no, me. Like, <laughs> he, if he can do it, I know I can. My boy, there's a shot. There's a shot. Yeah, he, was a, he was a down bad king before, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a down right bad prince. That's what he did. Oh, that's, that's what he did. Now, motherfucker. Damn. 
No, you a step down from King. <laughs> you Prince. <laughs> yeah, he, he a Duke. He a Duke. He a Duke. <laughs> Y'all the fools. <laughs> Oh, I said, there is levels to this. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Dutch. That nigga found that starving prisoner in the basement. <laughs> Don't fucking play me. <laughs> in the basement. That's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. Well, they might give me a crack of that, man. <laughs> uh, what's up with the power rankings, though? We're going back to uh, sports. Shit, I lost count of the power rankings. Yeah. Eagles, everybody else. I have no idea, honestly. I really have no idea. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, so. The Eagles, everybody else. <laughs> I know that for sure. Oh. Sanchez, I'm guessing. What's cracking? Let's see right here. Uh, I don't even know what the – trying to pull them up the power rankings. All right, so first we have Eagles. <laughs> Second is Dallas. Third, Bengals. Bills at four. Chiefs went down three spots. They were at two. Now they're at five. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me play, hold on. They lost, Sunday, they lost Sunday to the Bengals. So? <laughs> Minnesota's, Minnesota's at six. Niners went down four spots. They were at three. Now they're at seven. After they beat the... Yeah, after, after they beat the because Jimmy? They said, I'm assuming here it says, uh, because Jimmy G's done for the season after suffering. But Brock Purdy, he did pretty good. That's what I'm saying. Mr. Relevant did pretty good. Uh, Dolphins are at eight. <clears throat> Dolphins are at eight just because they took that little stump loss against the Niners. Uh, Tennessee is at nine. They've been at nine for a while. Yeah, they've been there for a minute. Baltimore still at eleven. Seattle going up to twelve. We're at like the beginning of the season. Remember we talked about we we're like twenty eight, twenty nine. Crazy. Hey, boy. Commanders are at thirteen. Giants are at 14. They have the Commanders ahead of the Giants. I think because the Commanders beat the Giants, right? Mm -hmm. no, it, no, it was a tie. They tied it. Oh, it was a tie. Okay. Yeah, uh, and then it says here we have the Raiders are at 15. Bucks at 16. Lions are going up the rankings. They were at 20 last week. Now they're at 17. Chargers went wow. down six spots from 12 to 18. Patriots mm -hmm. went down four spots from 15 to, to 19. Uh, Browns are at 20. They were at 19 previously. Green Bay still at 21. Pittsburgh going up the rankings are at 24, now they're at 22. Arizona was previously at 22, now they're at 23. Jags from 23 to 24. Atlanta still at 25. Saints still, still at 26. Carolina went up a spot um, at 27. Chicago went up a spot at 28. Um, and then we have the Rams at 29. They were at 30 previously. Broncos were at 31. Now we have the, the – they're at 30. Um Damn, the Colts went down, bro. They're at 27. So the Colts are saying that the Colts are the second worst team in the league I in think front of the Texans. No, no, yeah, the Colts. Who's I agree. Again? You said what? Who's last? 32? Texans. Texans. And they're probably going to be there for the rest of the season. That's, that's right. So they're 1-9-1. One, one. They're probably going to be there for the rest of the season. season. They might just draft the quarterback, honestly. Um, yeah, they got you. Uh, well, who, who are who are? I mean, they have what two first round. Let me look at the picks. Uh, they got hell of picks. Yeah, they do. So let me see here. They got four picks in the first round at least. You're lying. What happened? Do they really? I think so. I think they got four picks in the first two rounds. I would not be surprised. They better make think about it. This is Sean Watson trade. They better make some moves in because man. Cause think about the, the Sean Watson trade. Yeah, you're right. Ivan, Justin, I'm picking that up. Virginia. Thank you. What up, Ivan? What up, Ivan? What up, Raquel? Drop some comments. I know we're talking sports, but drop questions. We more more than likely yeah. to answer them. Keep you guys entertained. The so Texans, they have the 11, 11 selections overall, including two first round picks, two two third round selections. They could make five picks with the top 100 selections of the draft. Um, so, yeah, so they're probably going to have the first round pick and then the Browns pick. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so they have a first round pick, a first round pick via Cleveland for the Deshaun Watson trade, second round pick, which is their own, a third round pick, another third round pick via Deshaun Watson, uh, fourth, fifth, and they have like four six round picks. So they're not really that. 
that hot on the pick list. I would probably go through it tougher right now. Honestly, I think the Cowboys because of defense. Mm-hmm. Tougher, yeah. I, I, I think uh, you see you have Eagles. No, I got the Cowboys because of defense. The thing is, the thing is, if you watch Dallas's games, bro, they just they struggle run. They they struggle passing the ball. Dak threw two interceptions. The game before that, he threw two interceptions. The game before that, he threw a pick. I mean, and it was against – he played – who did he play last? He played uh, the Bears. He played uh, – um, Think about it. Their front four is getting after them. They don't have to blitz as much. They yeah, they don't. But they, the really offensive don't. line isn't bad. The running offense is really good. Yeah, it's not that bad. They, they're top they're, five and giving up the fewest sacks. They're, they're, their run game is really good. It's just Dak just makes poor decisions, really bad decisions. That's, and that's why – that's why I reacted the way I did when they said, "Oh, I'll, when people tell me, oh, I'll take Dak over Lamar." No, no, yeah, I would, I, I would move on. I would move on from Dak because we see, like, yeah, what's the point? Did that shit for pride? Yeah, like, what's the whole point of getting all the touchdowns if you're not doing anything? You know, your decisions are the ones that it's make a bunch of empty calories. Yeah, the reason why they destroyed the Colts is just cold. Literally choked that one. Bro, they, that's a, and they, and actually they were start they were struggling with them for the first for the first half. Mm-hmm. Three, four, they were struggling in the first three quarters. Exactly. It wasn't until they until they started giving the, until the defense. The full quarter, they gave up thirty three points. Yep. And most of them were by the defense. Okay, so this would be the draft order. I think if the East season ended right now, obviously the Texans would have the first pick. The Bears would have the second. Mm-hmm. Seattle would have the third via Broncos from the Russell Wilson trade. Uh, the Lions would have the fourth via Matthew Stafford trade from the Rams. Uh, let's see. Uh, Philly would have the fifth pick from the Saints. Uh, Carolina would have the sixth pick. Jacksonville would have seven. Arizona would have eight. The Colts would have nine. Atlanta would have ten. Green Bay, eleven probably get a receiver there for sure. Vegas would have 12, probably get a quarterback. Texans, they would get the 13th pick via Cleveland Browns. Mm-hmm. Um, Pittsburgh would get 14. Offensive lineman for sure. Offensive tackle for sure. <laughs> Bro, left tackle. You ain't got to uh, debate it. Detroit Lions would have 15. Uh, Chargers, 16. Patriots, 17. Uh, Commanders, 18. Tampa, they're still playing for like their picks. Um, it's about mm-hmm. the rest should be playoff and teams. The only team really the first pick is the Browns, obviously. Yeah, because of the Sean Watson. Yeah, that's crazy. They still have a first round pick. Oh yeah, you're right. Cool. Acquired from the San Francisco 49ers through the Miami Dolphins. It was cool. uh, the the Broncos. Oh, they don't have a first round pick. They do, but they says that their pick is acquired from the Niners through the Miami. Dolphins. Who do they? Oh, Chubb. Chubb. Yeah. Chubb. Uh, Chubb. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a three way trade. Yeah, you're right. What's the rest of the of the order? Well, they, it doesn't even matter. They're playoff just, teams. Yeah, this is a playoff team. So Tampa right now, Seattle, Titans, Jets, Giants, Bronc. Well, I mean the Broncos via. The Miami Dolphins, I'm assuming. Miami, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the Niners, Baltimore, and Cincinnati, <laughs> and Kansas City, oh, wow. Dallas, Bills, Tiffany, Minnesota, uh, Eagles. Joining. That's why I said script playoff playoff teams. What's the point? Yeah, honestly, we'll, we'll, we'll be lucky if we can snag a fucking guard or a fucking. Usually, guards get picked up that late anyway. So yeah, yeah. or offensive linemen in general depends. It's a generational side talent offensive lineman, top ten. Worst case scenario. Might as well just fucking trade up your picks. Trade up. And you know how hard it is to trade up ten whole ass slots. You gotta, you gotta give up a decent amount. Right here, John. This is for you, my boy. Top twenty three, uh ranking of the top offensive linemen. So number one, they have this guy from Northwestern. Uh Skronsky is in the middle of a single most dominant pass blocking season, which you need a pass blocker. Uh, yes. in yeah, we... years in college grading on 383 pass blocking snaps. He allowed only five pressures. That's it. 
Uh, his 93.1 pass blocking grade is far and away tops in the country. No, I was about to say that's up there. Yeah. Yeah, and then second they have uh, the dude from Ohio State. He's a redshirt sophomore. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Perry, not Paris Johnson. Uh, that is Paris Johnson. Yeah, Paris. Okay, cool. Yeah, and this is first year playing left tackle. Uh, yeah, because he was always a right tackle. Yeah, right and then he got the left. Yeah. Um, and then they have uh, Broger Jones from Georgia, another redshirt sophomore. Um. I would honestly just – I feel like he's a tackle guard more than anything. I think he's a he's a guard. Left tackle. Yeah, he's a left tackle. He's allowed no sacks, no hits on only four hurries and 295 snaps. Not bad. That's good. With the competition they go up against, that's actually damn good, actually. Yeah. Like I said, I'm solid with any of the offensive tackles coming out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good? Yeah. Is it, is... No, it's on the trip. You good? No, no yeah. I'm dying over there. Yeah, that's all I was about to say. I'm making sure he's straight. So I put oregano in my shit. I don't know if y'all do. Oh, yeah, I do too. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Oh, yeah, I'll take any of those off the left tackles. Anything over Dan Moore. Oh, God. Bro, like that fuck, uh, you know how many fucking play, uh, like elite offensive linemen like, go undrafted? True. The, the the left the the right guard for Alabama last year, uh, fucking Dante some shit. Dante Brown. Dante Brown, yeah. And they're getting uh, he went he went to the Panthers. Yeah, think about it. Wait. Yeah, but then it, wait. Uh, yeah, it's one of those lose lose situations he put himself in in a sense. Yeah, I don't know if he's still playing now, but I know he. That's the point. But nonetheless, though, that guy. Yeah. He, he didn't give up a sack in, what, 252 snaps at the time? Yeah, he didn't play too many snaps. And on top of that, he's 360, almost 370 pounds playing guard. It's not, like they, and it's not like they threw all that much. Yeah, I guess it makes sense, you know. Yeah. Starting from Batman, at least. And on top of that, he had a bad 40. Bad 40. <laughs> yeah, with guards, you can't, so, you, can't even, you can't really, you know, look past the, the 40. Why do you think they go for guards that's barely 300? 20 pounds now. If you go 330, you unless you're Quinn Nelson, Quinn Nelson is 335. So, the one from uh, the Broncos, uh, I forgot his name, Quinn Miners. Yeah, I feel like he's an undersized center that yeah. center and guard that yeah, had the bulk. He is, he's athletic as fuck, though. Exactly, he's barely 300 pounds. Mm-hmm. He had to bulk. <laughs> Got a little fatty, my boy. Oh, this man. I'm about to be nigga lipping that shit on, on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> that boy gonna be on that cocaina. Yeah. <laughs> Nachi's Escobar, homie. <laughs> <She's> Escobar. <laughs> boy, he about to be <laughs> delivering them I drugs. Need a, I need a, I need a <clears throat> probably Friday, honestly. I'll probably uh, get like a little damp, <clears throat> damp towel just to, to hydrate them. Okay. Yeah, because they're you gotta hydrate them. You gotta do a whole bunch of shit with them. Wait, because they're when they're uh like from what I know, when they dry up, they're really like brittle. Mm. So when you're like cutting it or you're working with it or whatever, even just smoking it, it's still it's gonna not hit the same. Gotcha. Look at that. <laughs> but that the smoke alarm go off, huh? No, no, that shit go off. I'm I'm getting out. <laughs> no. I'm gonna go find you. Right on camera on live. You said what? Wait, what? <laughs> we gotta do a session like that. No, nah, say that again. We gotta, we gotta have a session with a cigar, bro. Oh, I'm down. No, I'm down too. Yeah. Well, one uh, once we get our situation uh, stated with the with the location to have the podcast, and till then we just can be doing this, you know. That's all we can do with in this format. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like when you have like couch talks and shit like that, you know, a little cigar ain't gonna hurt nobody. Yeah. Right, go. Now, if they hit my hit my goddamn page with some goddamn weed, I'm about to I'm about to shoot somebody with switch. Be like, this ain't weed. <laughs> I promise you. Nigga, look at the brand Romeo and Juliet, bro. Fuck. No, no, they gonna put me on a ninety day monetization band. Like that's that that's a bitch. Scrib, you should have got some, bro. When we were out there. I know, but I was too focused on gambling. I know you were. 
Oh, hey, listen, I, that motherfucker hey, was out here winning. You hear me? I got this man stuck on them Chinese fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh, <laughs> but I lost it all fucking trying to get bet, bet on games and shit. Damn it, Scrip. <laughs> Boy, you better take what you got. <laughs> Fuck that. Well, I'm not going there with $10. I'll come out with 100 Bitch, I'm gone. Bro, first day I dropped 20 I came out. I won at 165 and I blew it all. Bro, I'd have left. No, no, I, I cashed out. And then the next day, a temptation hit again. You know, you said if I... Exactly. Out, exactly out of, boy. I stacked up to the top. Well, tell me we're fucking, no. I blew so fast to that fucking money. Bro, the hotel we stayed at had a fucking casino, bro. There's no way that was going to survive. Yeah, bro. Let's all hit the casino. Nah. Hey, I'm down. Up. We can hit the nah, with that nigga script, he going to be greedy as hell. Hey, <laughs> let's hey, no, Bill. They're over here talking about, like, we got money like him. This dude's a fucking nurse getting paid, like, 90, 100K a year, bro. <laughs> nah, about to the roulette table dropping 100, 500,000. Like, come on. I'm down for Vegas, though, for sure. That nigga throwing rent money on the table. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, this not only is he is he flipping medicine, that nigga flipping switches too. Oh yeah, we nah. boy, he's switching up. Hey, nah, he wants to go to Vegas. <laughs> he wants to go to Vegas. Think of a quete. Quete. Oh, shit. Wait, what kind of quete is we talking about? The fireworks or what? Yeah, I know. Fireworks, fireworks. He got fireworks with switches on him. This <laughs> man. Works with switches. You got a switch on a BB gun. Crazy. Man, I feel like that's so possible. <laughs> <laughs> that is so possible. Nah, we should really look into that Vegas shit. that knock down some nalgas. <laughs> and he's trying to go to a brothel. <laughs> no. Oh, that motherfucker ain't coming out. He do that. <laughs> boy, that boy going to be on the Lamar Odom challenge. He do that. <laughs> Hey, for BB guns, this man know everything. I'm telling you. Yeah, I, you know what? The sad, sad part is that it probably was. <laughs> they was like, oh, if we can do it on BB guns, let's do it on the real ones. That's probably how that started. <laughs> and then here comes Bell with the fucking gun knowledge genius. Goddamn. <laughs> they motherfuckers mm -hmm. real clocks. Yep. Exactly. It's over. Yeah. Tell you, uh, BB guns came a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Now you can't even trust. Now I see why cops shoot when they spin CB. Okay, I figured that's how it started, Bill. I figured that's how it started. It logically makes sense to come and think about it. Yeah, Americans are cutting off. Ah, oh, big dog. Hell no, he heard the switches. He said, "Nope, gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos took it, took action in me. Damn, we were barely out of high school when that happened. <laughs> Man, oh, he'll be. He should be back. Bump. Yeah, he should be back. Yeah, if not, that's if crazy. If not, that was my boy, man. You know, we, you know, day uno, happy late birthday. We celebrating on Sunday. That boy, Jeff Bezos, was playing in the head. Yeah. <laughs> that man seen that shit, man. Fuck. He was like, no, oh, hell. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fez knocked his Wi Fi out. <laughs> boy, he should have used that VPN when he had a chance. <laughs> uh, I should about to get popped out right now. Exactly. <laughs> Look, hey, that. Chad, who's that behind you? <laughs> nah, I'm not cover. Uh huh. For now, he said switches and they blacklisted him. Oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still on live, girly. Come on, it's our, it's it's my pod, it's our podcast right here. This is what we talk. Man, about. I know you got questions. I know it. All right, girly, come on. Drop me, drop me some questions. I know she got a controversial, a controversial uh. Topic. This man said, your eyes still brown. Like, yeah, feds, feds, uh, feds came knocking at the door, so I had a... <laughs> they were like, what? what? <laughs> hey, Bell, Bell they were asking for Eric Bell, the Eric Bell, Samuel Bell. Samuel Bell. Bell. <laughs> this is not Samuel Bell, <laughs> yo. <laughs> My boy, Junebug. Damn. Uh, get, get, get this nigga out. Kick him out. I'm about to tell you, you can do that. <laughs> You don't have to be sports. Just you don't got to be sports. He's <laughs> trying to ask relationship advice. Daddy joined off, Lord. Nah, but for real. Nah, I, I, <laughs> men I, men I mentioned this shit earlier before you got here. Uh, she's, uh, we're trying to get a little uh, female versus male debate, but you know how that, that goes. Oh, you want to do something like, uh, what's his name shit? Fresh and fit. Yeah. Fresh and fit. Yeah. 
But yeah, they're, they're not ready for all that. Uh, how many heads can you lingerie. have on this? Nick, how many what? heads can you have join up? Tajay's lingerie boutique. Oh. Who's that? Oh, that's why lingerie boutique. Let me see oh, that. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to get myself. Hey, get, get, join the live. And show, and show the channels, yeah? <laughs> show he said, "Motherfucker, Andrew Tate." <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have to scan that lingerie for real quick. Oh, you can have I'm gonna have to scan her. Look, four and four. There you go. Oh yeah, that's all. Yeah, that sounds about right. But that's gonna be a pain in the ass with setting up the mics, though. If you do it that way. Yeah, I mean, we can we can have like a hollow room. You know, it, it can work. You know, but definitely. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, it's possible. But once we get some more episodes in, like we maybe we could do like a special episode or something, get like get get prepared for it, you know? You know, shit like that. Was yeah, a- but you just can't get any further. Uh-huh. You gotta get females that. You know what I mean? That are able to take a joke. Mm. Or not not even a joke, just take able to take not mm. Good luck with that. But okay. You know, just like hey, we depends. Like it is depends. Yeah, I agree. If not, kick rocks. Says check me out. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check that out real quick. I'm gonna see if uh, I can find okay, me an auntie that could no. fit one of your lingerie. You know what I'm saying? He said auntie. Check. You better go to church. You better go to church. And I'm about to pick my one by one. That's <laughs> me. What, what's up with it? What's up with it? That's the homegirl. That's Marada. I haven't seen her in a minute. I know. If I check it out, I know she got some good ones. Uh, I know. I, it. Be- I better. The fuck? Hey, John's like, hey, you got any uh, fish nets for my boy John? <laughs> hey, Tajay. Tajay, you got a new fish net for my boy John? Yo, on me, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see my boy Fog and some fish nets on Saturday. Yo, y'all wallet. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta have like, you know how Fashion Nova got that for big men. You gotta get some of that for. <laughs> Hell no, dude, them shits my pot. <laughs> bro, Fashion Nova get some fish nets for him. <laughs> for big man, bro, that's fucking crazy. That's a li- fish net for big man. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tajay, you got any uh, nipple tassels for my boy Script? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hey, Bell, you remember he got the you, hey, Bell, you know, he got them, he got them pepperonis too. He said, Give me a and maybe another, I don't know. Oh, God, no. Dead. <laughs> no, that nigga script. He gonna skip past that. He got them cock rings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta have some. Hey, do you have any uh, triple XL uh, sticky bras for my boy Vic? Man, I got to- you gonna get this away? Fuck. <laughs> hey, you started this script. Fuck that. <laughs> hey, I'm grabbing the news. You said he got a full trip stamp. <laughs> Yo, Bell, you wild. I'm, I'm going on a spree. See, Tajay, see what you done started? <laughs> Man. Hey, I'm really going to check it out now. You, uh, hey, we got a uh, we got a, a creator code. <laughs> well, <man. laughs> she might send us a code in the comments. Oh, <laughs> Never know. Hey, Tajay, give my boy 10%. Come on, man. He down bad. He trying to get some fish net. Well, you give me 50%, nigga. I'm shouting it out right now. <laughs> like, give me like, no, I got some shit I want to put my homies on. <laughs> <laughs> Official trio. That is hilarious. Thanks for joining. <laughs> he said a full tramp stamp. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hey, wasn't Bell the one acting like a full on light skinned female on, 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 on a story the other day? Where you at? I want to hear that. Uh, I forgot what post it was. If you're not, if you're not that big, where you at? Like, yo. <laughs> Oh, I'm you, like, you really think folks gonna come up there just because? Hey, Bell's at, Bell's at Big Bear for a little vacation or what? What you doing up there, Bell? Trying to find a you trying to kill, shoot, trying to clap Smokey, the Smokey the Bear with a switch? <laughs> That's what he doing. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't up there for no reason. Hell no. This man. You, we, we, that nigga be going to Big Bear every two weeks. Every two weeks. We have a full episode on, bro. Okay, I'm just I've been trying to smoke a cigar for a minute, bro. I've been itching for one. I ain't gonna lie. I was with a little high. I was with a little high now. Yeah, all right. Hey, there you go. Look, hey, uh, Tajay, you gotta promote those uh, that lingerie for my boy Bell. He was a little high now. 
<laughs> you got a customer Man, right where'd she go? <laughs> ah, there she go. That nigga Bell will make bottle that shit for her, though. <laughs> that is hilarious. Man. Man, he I, said, "Change stand." Ah, uh, she left already. Fuck, man. Yeah, she left. That's what I'm saying. Uh, oh, Taj, I'm gonna DM her. What was her name again? Taj, Taj, I never, I never heard of her. No, nah, I haven't either. But shout out to Love Blunt. Blunt. She. So, I don't know about, I don't know about Blunt, but you know, I'm down for cigar though. Yeah, I mean cigar. Hey, give me like a minute. Though. Nah, don't bring no, don't bring no weed, bro. No, dude, don't be smoking that shit in the house, bro. No, we're gonna be outside. Screw it out. Oh yeah. Well, that should be smelling, bro. I don't want your mom tripping. You know how it is. No, nah, we're good. We're good. So I'm gonna be smoking cigars. Yeah. Yeah. But we're still low key pretty moist too. I, I, we, I, I got. I'm, I'm gonna get there early, no, so we can. Uh... Yeah, no, so we could address what the fuck is. You know what I mean? What's up? Oh. Kick motherfuckers out. Like, hey, how many females you got with you? Uh, three. Uh, mm -hmm. There you can go. Uh, but unless they're a dude and trying to give up cheeks, the nigga slide through, you know. <laughs> Am I the only one hear this shit? <laughs> Wagner. He said he he said he went to go jerk off. He said lingerie. Let me go peek that. He went on his laptop right now. I know you're checking this shit out. Hell no! I had a piss like a horse. No, you heard that. Bro, it's just right right oh, you talking about Jumba? You talking about the cigar? It's just. It's just straight tobacco, but you don't you don't smoke. Oh, I was say. You don't smoke it like a blunt, bro. You don't you don't inhale it like you're getting high. So he said, like, hey, we Jesus. should get somebody out that don't that, that we don't every dude out that we don't know. Unless a dude, unless a dude comes through and we you know trying to bust some cheeks and then. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's here, it's, here we go. It's just tobacco leaf, but nah, but nah, real shit though. Every every nigga we don't know kick rocks. Unless they come up with a good question. No, we're talking about Saturday, my boy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's over with. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, Screw gonna take his job way too serious. <laughs> oh, somebody gonna get tased, nigga. Oh, he bringing the whole thing. He bringing the tasers. He bringing the, <laughs> the switch <laughs> from Bell. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, let me borrow that switch, Bell. <laughs> you feel me? Borrow that shit. Hell no, you get caught with that nigga. That's a whole charge. <laughs> it's a wrap. He kicking niggas out. Said, Come here, you little snag tooth. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Charisma? How you doing? See you little snag tooth. Kick rocks. Goofy, that's how we gonna be. For me, kick rock. The females can stay though. You gotta go though. Yeah. Like a full on fucking Nah, my dumb ass gonna be in the back like, get your ass out. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, know know. Black, I know the only black person there. I know that nigga there. Like, no. The sad part is I probably would be the only black one there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sad part. Probably. <laughs> probably. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to hold it to you, John. Probably. <laughs> probably. The, I let that nigga movie. Devin I scoop by. Like Curtis, though, see if he pulled through. That's what I'm saying. Let Devin scoop by. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, we don't talk about, we don't talk about that dude no more. Oh, wait a minute. Right, we don't, yeah. we don't, we don't, hold on, wait, 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 this podcast shit, man. We don't talk about it here. Okay, I was about to say, niggas. <laughs> Keep me on the loop. Yeah, I got you. I'll let you know. Damn. It must have been hell, hella bad. I'm nah, like, what? These comments. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then you coming, then. You for sure. Don't fuck me that. Don't fuck me that. He's not coming. Hey, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm in charge of the list, the invitees list, nigga. That's somebody finna get it. Yeah, strip. You gonna have to bring that switch and that taser. Yeah, it's about to be a bad one. <laughs> I'm bringing machete, bro. I'm hitting on cartel style, nigga. Fuck out. What? Not a machete. <laughs> somebody gonna get this. No, you gonna put it right on his ass hey, cheek so with the machete. Get that PVC uh, shoddy from Bell. So. Oh, Oh, I'm come this nigga. Uh, what are you? Get him out of here. <laughs> bro, get off the chat, bro. You done. Get him out, coach. <laughs> he didn't mean that, Lord. Shit. No, no, he, he did. Oh, he did. <laughs> Unfortunately. No, I know he did. <laughs> he did. And the guy looking at him right now like, this motherfucker here. <laughs> 
It's like that one time Farner had to block that one dude that's like, oh, that, that dude in the red shirt was caught for fraud or some shit. What's the one? Uh, when we was doing the live one, the, the the episode one time, somebody commented, "Oh, the dude in the red shirt, which was you, was like, hey, he got caught for fraud in in in, in five different countries." Oh, I remember that one. Was, yo, that was wild. I'm like, out of all the things, that one. I'm like, yo, this nigga has only been to one country out of out of, out of, out of in his own life. Like, yo, that's Jamaica. That's it. <laughs> Boy, my black ass was gone. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm struggling doing that shit in America. What you think I'm about to do in another country? What the heck? I'm starting to do yeah. Jamaica, if that. <laughs> Nigga, I'm getting. Well, they might, they might hit me with a goddamn machete before they even pull out their switch. Probably a Jamaican mind, too. Them motherfuckers got switches. <laughs> well, they still them. <laughs> you better have to show that little shoddy, huh? You got, you got five, yeah, five, yeah, you yeah, got five year olds running around with fucking AKs. That's crazy, man. Hey, Scrib- hey, Vic, what time you off? No, no, the party on Sunday, my boy. Yeah, <laughs> nice. yeah. <laughs> nah, it's a Saturday for sure. June, see you then. Yeah, no Saturday. Uh, for we might, uh, but we might try to expand a little bit, and for the uh, episode, since all all the members are gonna be there, uh, we gonna have a a Nelk Boys type of video. So stay tuned. Yes, dude. You gonna record? Nigga, no, I'm not. Record. I'm the one. I'm the one that's gonna be pop cheeks, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> I'm always. You gonna record me busting five, five? I'm over here feeling like Nelly with the toothpick. Oh me. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, June, bring bring some if you can. Dog, yeah. Don't worry, you're solid. You're solid. B Y O B. I'm not saying the last time we went, it was way too much goddamn hey, liquor. Tell, <laughs> hey, June, 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 just tell my thing to get you the three tall can pack from Circle K. Block them from here, though. You didn't. You're not here. <laughs> he joins automatically. Hey, what? I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we done. We done. What? Well, hey, there, boy. <laughs> time to get you. No, I'm to me by the time me and Scream get there. That three, alcohol three, gonna be hell. You know what? I'm gonna be there early. I'll go. I'll go scoop you up though, John. Tell that boy Marcos too. Well, remember, I'm about to be at a game uh, <laughs> Saturday for a little I'm, bit. I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be there just doing security, kicking the lanes out. Oh yeah, 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 I should be there. <laughs> I should be there no later than eight. You already know, bro. I gonna be here. Nah, but you solid, June. Don't even trip, bro. You solid. That's a little three for five. This nigga will take you. Solid. Yeah. You already know my boy. Yeah. By the time I'm done, I'm probably gonna be done around like eight, eight thirty ish. I should. Be... Honestly, that's really when the start party start. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, no, for real, for real. That's why I put seven because honestly, it was like or, just in case people, people throw up early. Yeah. Case scenario, I'll call you a lift and then I'll take you home after. Oh wait. We- Okay, we, we 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 sleeping over. Y'all sleeping over. Fuck! Oh, I, yeah, got I got shit that. to do. I got them money packets. Boy, I got them money packets. This thing here. Well, y'all thought I'm watching. Live. I'm drinking life. Yo, tell me who's in the live. Uh, shit, that's the question. It's just us three. Oh, it's just us. Like, on. You said what? It's just us three. Yeah. Dude. No, it ain't. Well, four technically. I don't know who's. I can't see who's who's in it though, because I don't have people. Us three. We're just recording at this point, bro. Oh yeah. I got my boy John a little song. I ain't even open it up yet, my boy. A dildo? No, no, no. Hey, script. You be posting these. Come on, bro. <laughs> you be posting these right after or what? He said what? You be posting them right after? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should have been peeking from the corner of his eye. It's a dildo, bro. <laughs> what that say right there? Listen. This thing here. This thing. Blues. <laughs> oh no, this man about to get geeked up. <laughs> Boopjuke.com. <laughs> Go get stuff. This is not a pay promotion, I'm just saying. No, it really isn't. But I'll sell the hell out of it though with the uh-huh. opportunity to come. Go ahead and read this for you, my boy. Nah, script. Dude, we ain't gonna forget about that. Uh, <laughs> that one time he had the geeked up dick films in the car. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just. A- I'm talking about on my rant. That shit said double exhale. I did not know who made who made those pills. I really forgot. You talking about the rhinos? Because they're, they're they're known for uh doing comedy for sure. I forgot the main company. You talking about the rhinos? Not the rhinos, mm-hmm. no. 
Which ones? Hell no. If he did the rhinos, that boy about to have a heart attack, big stroke. <laughs> he took that shit. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, script, it might not make it to 23, my nigga. <laughs> that's crazy. Hell no. Now, that shit not, that shit get paid, but... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, y'all had a y'all had a pretty good podcast though, because look, there's I see right here how many people joined. There's been like forty nine people that joined. Yeah, it was a lot of people that came up. I think it's <coughs> I think I think this is a better format just because people don't really click the link. You know what I mean? People but, would rather be on Instagram. Be honest. Yeah. So you know what I mean. So I mean, I feel like this might be good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. But uh, real shit. As long as we have a format of honestly, when you do the comments, just pin the topics we're going to talk about and, and pin it, yeah, so we can exactly. go over and then do the questions afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, it's good. So, what time are you off tomorrow, my boy? What time? What time am I off? Yeah. Hey, Maggie's on. What's up with it? And Marco too. What's up, Maggie? What up, Marcos? What's up with it? What up, my boy, Marcos the Cholo? What's going on, man? Sorry, I'm still filming. But yeah, man, I think that's a good spot to, you know, end it, you know? Yeah. yeah. But what time, bro? What time you say you're off? Uh, I'm off at four, 8 in the morning, bro. Fuck. And you had to go in early? Yeah, bro, sadly. Yeah, for sure. My bad, man. I'm What did you say on Fine. I already got Saturday off. Oh, you got it off? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Solid. Oh, that means you finna be at the crib. Help me set up. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, John about, about, about to be playing his, uh, that little, uh, flute. <laughs> John about to come and play the national anthem. Hell no, nigga. I'm about to be in and out. They come now. Play it. <laughs> I'm well, we start at 7, so it's like, as soon as 8 o'clock hit, I'm out the door. <laughs> I'm about to be all dripped up already, huh? Yeah. I'm still... What I, I'm about to show up what I got over there. <laughs> dude. Yeah. dude, I'm not about to go back to the crib and change, nigga. I'm about to wear what I got. <laughs> it's about to be cold in the motherfucker Saturday. Oh, I know yeah. it. I got... I got... I got three heaters, bro. I got three heaters. Oh, you got three heaters? Stay no more. Oh, y'all trying to have my black ass drunk, drunk. Okay, gotcha. Oh, you damn right. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, we're yeah. getting lit, bro. Like, we're we're really trying to get me drunk. Be <laughs> we're about to be golden showers with them R. Kelly music in the back. How did we get here? <laughs> yeah, Saturday going to be a trip. <laughs> what's, that, what's the R. Kelly start jumping? You know what I mean? So, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many subliminals on R. Kelly music alone. <laughs> like, you, seen, you seen that video that they're talking about like, oh, you got any cookies? I want some cookies. Mm, I saw that one. Oh, I seen it, on, Next I, I seen it on, here on IG. It's the dude, what's his name? Like uh, Skinny Bones or someone's name? Mm-hmm. And he did it when he was like, oh, uh, R. Kelly, when he's locked up and, and uh, trying to get lunch or whatever. He's like, you got a commissary. He's like, you got any cookies? Let me get some cookies. The sad part is he was all key when he did that shit, though. That shit made it funny as fuck. Oh, that shit was funny <laughs> How many people joined? You said how many people joined? Yeah. 49. That's 40, probably not like, 40, not like 50. That's good, though. That's, I think that's probably a, like 50 in total yeah. now, yeah. That's a pretty good spot, you know, to like, you know, successful day for sure. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. so I think... Uh, I think this format goes good. I think for the for for if our plan goes, I want it, and you know we get the group. The I, I think a uh, group of six, six six six. But that's a lot of niggas though, and that's a lot of. Nah, that's, that's, four, that's, four, four, that's why you said four, 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 four. Yeah, four. so us three, well, us four, and including Aunt, we can't forget, uh -huh. and four other women, or we could probably do six women. Who knows? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Though. But no, that nigga script trying to have the have the ladies game bang us <laughs> like <laughs> with the six oh four action. What? What are you? <laughs> Boy, you thought you was slick. <laughs> this nigga here, bro. Man, this nigga fucking man. I can't, nothing. 
Oh, you can. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, nah, but uh, top it off, man. You know, successful day. Uh, you know, we got definitely got to do this every uh, on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are the days that we can't that that are free. And I'm there. So I'm definitely down for this, man. I uh, appreciate you guys being here, you know, making the time. I know you had phone work at Shit America, so. Yeah, yeah. Still on it right now. <laughs> I know. Still doing it. There you go. So that's your commitment. Appreciate that. Once this all goes viral, okay. we, 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 we go, well, it's more for the fun of it, dude. The viral shit comes, cool. You know, we on it. But yeah, for the most part, you know, that's you know why we do it. And it's for the fun of it. You know, get, we get something to talk about, you know. But, uh. You know, anybody still watching this shit, man, appreciate you guys much. Uh, stay tuned till next Tuesday. Maybe we'll slide another episode this week. I don't know. But maybe. Just maybe. But we got to get ready for this party on Saturday. So stay tuned. 22 Jump Street shit come popping off. Bro, for real. Now I want to make a video, bro. You got to have someone record. Though. I'll edit it. I don't care about it. I want to make a video for sure. Probably some no boy shit, you know. I'm about to be, about to be taking any shots like it's no tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But, uh... No shit, y'all. You already know who it is, man. Get it going. Uh, stay tuned for next Tuesday. Yeah. Stay touch. See y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Deserve. Hey.